Welcome to Directly to You. It's the 187th episode. I have it up on my other monitor this time. I'm being you go? efficient. Uh, <laughs> it's our show. We're Fanatics 4. I'm AJ of Fanatics 4. I'm joined by Parker of Fanatics 4. I was waiting for Parker to say something because that's yeah, generally me. like Hello. when you say somebody's name on a podcast, they say something. So it's like, oh, okay, that's that guy and that's the other guy. You can support the show by going to youtube.com slash fanatics for twitch.tv slash fanatics for and give them four dollars and ninety nine cents. It don't even got to be yours if you got an Amazon Prime account because you can link it with your Twitch account and take it from Jeffy B's wallet. Just take it from him. He doesn't need it. He has many four dollars and ninety nine cents all over his massive home, I'm sure. Um, in exchange for that, you get loyalty badges, you get free switch keys from time to time, you get emotes, you get access to our supporters only discord where we record this. Actually, we don't record this in the supporters only discord. It's a supporters only channel amongst several (laughs) supporters only channels. (laughs) It's the DTY recording thing. And you can get access to that just by hanging out in the discord for the free. If you don't Mm -hmm. got $4.99 or you're not an Amazon prime member. Mm-hmm. It's a good time, you know. If you don't, if you don't have four dollars and ninety nine cents, you should probably get some four dollars and ninety nine cents. You don't have to give them to sure. us, but that's you probably you might need. You some, probably it's a useful need thing. Some it's a useful of thing some variety to have for sure. Also, yeah. something that we don't usually say at the start of the show. If you listen to this on oh, podcast yeah. services, did you know that we're also on youtubecom slash directly to you? You can watch us in video form. You get to see facial expressions and screen shares and whatnot. <laughs> see that? <laughs> so many facial expressions. Can and you hear you that listen, facial expression? <laughs> that's a fact. Doubt it. You can't hear a facial expression. I mean, you could. You can hear like smiles a little mm, bit. That um, one. You knew exactly <laughs> what that was. If you were listening, you were like, yeah, you knew I exactly got that. the face <laughs> that he made there. Um, but also, if you already listen on youtube or watch on youtube but you want to listen on podcast services or you have a podcast service and you want to help us out you can download it on your podcast service of choice just go to anchor.fm slash dty and all of those are hyperlinked there rate the podcast thank you man we play video games here (laughs) what video game are you playing parker what singular video i was saying right before we started recording i was like I, I need to check my switch to see if if I've played anything. I was like, my icons are in the exact same position they've been in for a whole week. Nothing has changed. Um, so I I'll say this much. Um, Ollie Ollie World came out this week, and I'm interested in playing it for sure. Um, but I was like, I'm gonna ask for a review code because um there I'm not gonna buy a game to stop playing Arceus right now. Like if I don't have to, you know what I mean? Where I was like, yeah. but if, if I got a review code, I'd love to play it and talk about it. Otherwise I'm just going to wait until way later to play it. Cause it's still going to be a good game way later. And right now I'm playing Arceus. Um, mm-hmm. I hadn't heard back from them though, or something like that. So I was like, whatever, I'm just going to be playing Arceus. <laughs> so yeah, man, this game keeps on being good. Ashley's still playing a whole lot of it. Mm-hmm. Um, the tricky thing is I'm still playing like I play. And Ashley plays not like I play in that, like, you know, she's trying to go around and and, like catch Pokemon and stuff, but doesn't care quite as much about like maxing out every area, which is exactly what I'm doing. Um, And, you know, is happier to move on a little bit, a little bit earlier with each area. Also good for her. (laughs) She's playing the video game. (laughs) She's she's playing the video game indeed. Um, And also she like doesn't have a great sense of direction. So sometimes doesn't know, which areas she's been to or not. And if, you know, she's like, I haven't been there. I don't know how to get over there. I'm not going to bother. So, you know, that's fine. The only downside to this is it means that like, now I don't get to be surprised by the new areas or anything like that anymore. Like she, mm-hmm. she got to the coastal whatever's before coastal uh, cobalt, coastal coast, yeah, coast, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cobalt, cobalt coastland. Cobalt Coastlands. Yes, that's right. what it is. <laughs> uh, so she got there before I did, and then I got there a little bit later. And she did all the story stuff, and I watched her do that. And then I'm doing some of the story stuff now. So um, I don't know. It'll be totally fine. But it's one of those things where, like, I don't want to be left too far in the dirt. Otherwise, it's, like, something. But mm-hmm. in any case, game still Just super, super good. Game, man. Granted, I will say. And mm-hmm. I am getting to the point that I thought I would get to. I still have the game. Game game's still mm-hmm. great. But the 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 part that I was like, I don't know about this being the only gameplay loop. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. I don't think Pokemon is uh, that mechanically interesting or compelling to be the, mm -hmm. like, completing the decks anyway, to be the main draw of the video game. I'm mm -hmm. to that point. I am 1,000%. Mm -hmm. I've been talking to Trev, because Trev already yep. has the complete Pokedex. And he's like, yo, if you need help, uh, hit me up. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, dope. And he's like, send me a list of the Pokemon that you need. And I'm like, hell no. I'm not doing that. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. He was like, I was trying to get you to make a spreadsheet. And I'm like, yo, if, if it comes to the point where I am cornered to make a spreadsheet to play a video game, I am no longer playing that video game. And yeah. you can mark my words. <laughs> like, um, so yeah, I'm like, like there's stuff, there's still stuff that I like want to do. Like it's not mm -hmm. that the game is making me do the things, but to do right. the thing that I really want to do, which is shiny hunt. To do it more efficiently, I got to do the thing that the game makes me do, uh, and that which is, is complete impact. The decks. Yes, and that to get all ten, uh, get yeah. ten entries for every Pokemon or whatever, and that mm -hmm. is impacting my like Ooh, um, innate enjoyment of the video, right? Game. Um, and I like think at this point, if you didn't want to shiny hunt, you'd probably just it didn't stream and all this kind of stuff. You'd probably just stop playing the game. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like, I mean, a normal Pokemon game, this would be the point where it's like, okay, I can train my team and I can battle mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah. there's there's a whole bunch of, which is mm -hmm. what I'm always talking about. I think it's very <laughs> dumb to like segment the game because you're like taking a game that could have infinite playtime, right. more or less, and making it finite. Even for the people that don't care about battling or whatever, or like all they care mm -hmm. about is completing the decks. Anything that is related to a number like that, like completion percentage, Mm -hmm. is finite inherently but when it's stuff like oh i want to get shinies or i want to build a competitive team or you know like for the shiny thing that's still finite but mm -hmm. it's infinitely more time that you can invest in the video game and as far as battling that's infinite like you could literally do that uh freaking trillion amount of times <laughs> and still right. not do all the battles that could be battled you know uh -huh. yeah um so it's like, mm -hmm. I'm getting to that point in this game where the game is kind of starting to annoy me, but it's not like in a way that I hate the game. It's just like, I expected this and that kind of sucks. Yeah. But mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, especially with Pokemon games having the longevity historically and stuff. Because, you know, again, for me, it's as a person who only interacts with them in a single player way, it's probably going to be just about perfect because I'll just play it, enjoy it. And then at, the, at whatever point I'm like, I think I'm done playing this. I will have stopped playing it at that point and be like, I, you know, I, mm -hmm. I had a good time doing all the things, but I can see how, yeah, it's, it's sacrificed the longevity for a more interesting and robust, like shorter experience, but doesn't have the like post game. Yeah. Again, like for it's not even that it's not even a more interesting and robust short-term experience. Like the only thing that makes it more interesting in terms of like it being mm -hmm. like a single player thing is just that it's new. It's that the the mechanics of how you catch the Pokemon is different and, and all that sort of thing. But I mean, if I would was... say it's definitely, I mean, yes, because it is that stuff, but the like, it is subjective also. But like, just for a lot of people who have tried to get into a regular or a standard Pokemon game and didn't succeed at that and then have enjoyed this, there's something you said for like, objectively, the way you interact with the world is, right. is more interesting, you know, whatever yeah, that yeah, looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Right. But yes, what I'm ahead. saying is I don't think that it's uh, like those things for the most part. The reason why I say that the reason uh, it's like it feels more robust because it's new um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is because a lot of the things that are new and like objectively more exciting to people. Mm -hmm. are like half baked in some way where it's right. like, yeah, it's so hyped that I can like be a part of this world and have my Pokemon be beside me. <laughs> I can mm -hmm. choose out my Pokemon whenever I want. But when I walk too far away from them, they go yeah. right back in the Pokemon, <laughs> you know, it's like stuff like that. Like yeah. if that was like more fleshed out, there's so much stuff that people could just be messing around. It's like, yo, I'm recording, I'm making my own movie with my Pokemon, <laughs> you know, like you could do like yeah. dumb stuff like that. No, but, I mean, I think totally that, that like, Pokemon Sword and Shields, like the gameplay is is super deep as far as like like you said the amount of battles the amount of could things be battles that you kind can of do. things and not, and not even just battles but the amount of things that you can do in yeah. the game because of the amount of systems that are in place and like done you know mm -hmm. like this is like a new thing that they're still trying to like figure out so mm -hmm. there's a lot of new systems but none of those systems are like oh okay this is final form you know right like, yeah and then whereas this game is more like it has 
it kind of moved laterally where it has mm. a lot of like new things going on, but they haven't like really, they didn't, you know, necessarily yeah, take the time to dig those wells super deeply, like in Breath of the Wild or have the just mm -hmm. time of like iterations that probably, it's the kind of thing that I'd imagine three more games in of this, it'll be, yeah. could be super deep because they've had exactly. time to elaborate on all those things yeah. in the same way that like abilities didn't exist in gen one and two mm -hmm. and you know, that kind of stuff. But like, so, and that's exactly why, like my, my like, uh feeling towards this game isn't like i hate this game this game sucks. Yeah, right. they, 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 <laughs> this game is like not it's like this game is exactly what i expected and i appreciate it for that but mm -hmm. this is the reason why i have been saying from the get that this is not breath of the wild of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. it's like it's step one <laughs> we'll get there mm -hmm. you know but yeah we're not well, it's, there. it's a it's a high bar too because breath of the wild not only did the breath of the wild thing but it also did what we just said of like you know seeing all of those things through to their yeah, most like exactly it took every things. aspect <laughs> of zelda and uh -huh. like fully evolved it you know yeah it didn't take certain aspects of like i would say the only thing that got fully evolved here and there's mm -hmm. even still room to grow here and become better is the pokedex like the Pokedex mm -hmm. is way yeah. more of a like a part of the game than yeah, it has sure. ever been. Like before, it was just like a, a check mark and just one check mark. Caught the Pokemon, mm -hmm. I got it. Yep. <laughs> you know, but now it's like I caught the Pokemon. I saw the Pokemon do these signature moves. I saw this Pokemon interact with this thing in this way. You know, mm -hmm. um, I caught it. This it, like in this situation at this time, I wasn't seen. You know, like that sort of thing. Yeah, um, and that's good. But mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what that means for more because there's so many aspects of Pokemon that can be mm -hmm. more. <laughs> like, yep. they, I mean, the they, other thing that's interesting with even that is like the Pokedex right now, you do those things and the, the head canon is you interact with the Pokemon in those ways, like you sneak up on it. And mm. this is what we've learned about it that gets mm. recorded in the Pokedex because of sneaking up on it. But right. there's not necessarily a like immediate um response to that you know what i mean mm. like whether you sneak up on it or not like no pokemon act differently because you caught it while sneaking up on it mm -hmm. within the game so it'll be interesting to see if that's something that they can also yeah. i mean i'll evolve i get into this in the future and things that <laughs> i can't fully talk about in mm -hmm. fact whenever we're ready to make videos again there's a video that introduces <laughs> a lot of the stuff in a, in a way that i can't talk about yet um but <laughs> there's so much gameplay potential in the pokedex alone yeah. in this yeah, game right. beginning to realize that mm -hmm. um which is cool yep i mean but yeah i'm i'm having a good time with it still and at at whatever point i'm like all right i think i've had my fill i've got a ton of games on my backlog so like i won't I won't hesitate to, to go ahead and play videos like in 20. <laughs> Trev, yeah. <laughs> but it's it's unlike Breath of the Wild in that the when Breath of the Wild came out, I was like, I don't have any other games to play. I guess I'm gonna go try to find all the Korok seeds, mm. you know, like try to max out everything because it was just fun to be in that world. But like right. um at this point, it's like I'm just gonna There's I mean, I'll see the story story through this, yeah. the end. And if I'm still having fun, then I'll keep you know maxing out the Pokedex and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. yeah. We'll just see how it goes. Yeah, good times. Um, and oh well, you've got some other games you're playing, right? I mean, oh yeah, I wanted to talk about this thing, but okay, yeah. I would smash, always smash. But uh -huh. I was uh, when after the direct, which we'll get to. Um, there was the Mario Kart stuff, which we'll get to. Um, <laughs> and I was like, Dan was streaming Mario Kart because he's like, Yo, I haven't played Mario Kart in forever. I want to get back yeah. in Mario Kart. And I was like, I'll play Mario Kart with Dan. And I was like, Wait, do I even have Mario Kart? installed <laughs> and i i do not um so mm -hmm. i installed mario kart and then mm -hmm. i was like wait do i have the nes and snes library installed i do not because i got the oled but like oh that that's just, right yeah, yeah but that just shows that like with the, with those two things specifically mario kart mm -hmm. just because i had a wii u and i'm i'm over it like i put yeah, I, right. I did this you know like i mm -hmm. th but the new content we'll get to um but i'm playing that spoilers uh or i'm going to play it spoilers uh, -huh. yeah. uh <laughs> <laughs> um but the and you're gonna finish the sentence spoilers yes the Sorry, snes yeah. and the nes stuff that was just like a thing of like this really is just to the knowledge of knowing that you can access it 
at least like 100%. definitely for me where yep. there is never a point in time in my day-to-day playing video game life where i'm like damn i really need to play an nes game right now <laughs> do you know like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like there's a little bit of that sometimes with some snes games but for me um but that's about it. And more often than not, and even the N64 games, like Ocarina of Time's there and I, I've got other stuff to play. So I don't have a reason to go back and replay it just because. But the fact that it's there means I can go back and play it just because at some point yeah. later when mm. I'm I'm never going to be out of games to play. <laughs> so I don't know when, but Speaking it's, of that, are it's you gonna totally play, just nice to. Are you going to play Earthbound? Have you played Earthbound? Um, we'll get to it. I'll go. Um, get well, to we can, I mean, I'm, we could get, we can get to the direct now if there's no other video games that we're playing, but none other that we're playing. <laughs> nice. Then we can talk about the thing in the title, uh, presumably. <laughs> yep. All right, cool. Nintendo Direct. Um, I don't know. There's not much to talk about in here, so I guess we can just breeze. Th- I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. I, I could share my screen, but then I wouldn't be able to see chat because I don't have two screens. So I guess I won't. Um, and it's just going to be the pictures of the things. So we're just going to talk about them. Mm-hmm. Okay. First of all, overall, um, I don't know, general impressions. What's, how are you feeling about it? This was a very good direct. Um, it, I feel like it was like, there's a lot of people that's like, this is by far the best direct arguably ever. <laughs> and, and people being like of the switch era. I don't know mm-hmm. if I would go that far personally, but I think that it was like consistent with their last few where they, they like, checked mm-hmm. off a lot of boxes you know like yep. they did all the like best direct uh things in yeah. this um and that's good i feel like if you i mean it was a good direct if it, it was a great direct i'd even say but mm-hmm. if you like rpgs and classic games this would this is like takes the cake or whatever um but that's just not every like one of my friends texted me <laughs> earlier and was like um we're direct huh <laughs> and i was like I mean, I'll say this, like there were things that I was definitely excited about that we'll get to. Um, and then there were things that I know other people like being in the conversation that I know other people are really excited about. So I'm very excited on their behalf, whether or not I care about that thing specifically for me is maybe, you know, besides the point. Um, so yeah, so it's just interesting to, um, I got it. Second thing. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Um, so yeah i mean overall i I also thought it was a a good direct um this is from nintendo life shout out nintendo life we know people over there they're cool all right cool yeah let's let's go ahead and get into it so first thing that came up was um fire emblem warriors three hopes coming out in june which is way sooner than i thought that was going to based on just i I just way sooner than i thought it was going to Mm -hmm. so this uh inside baseball question mark not inside mm-hmm. baseball it's behind the scenes if you weren't there um on twitch.tv <laughs> slash fanatics four we were watching this yeah <laughs> and the title of it was uh, i hope they announced water emblem or something like that <laughs> yeah and they immediately started with this and i was like yo <laughs> <laughs> and pretty much like there was like a lot of stuff like leading into this that we're like oh i'll probably show this and it'd be cool if they showed this and it'd be cool if they showed this and like half of these games came up in that discussion <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, but, I, but Three Hopes was on the disappointing side of that, <laughs> to, be, to be honest. I, I, yeah, I will say, like, I'm of two minds of this in, gen- in general. Like, when I first I saw Fire Emblem, I was like, oh, sweet, nice, Fire Emblem, cool. And then it said Fire Emblem Warriors, and I was like, oh, okay, not, like, that's fine. Because um, I, I really liked Age of Calamity, um and i really liked fire emblem and so you'd think that this would kind of be more that but like i i just don't know that i need that many muso games even if it's yeah like i don't need I to need know none. that much more about there the are none that yeah. i need i don't need a single muso game. i mean i'm, very I'm over it i was over it when they from inception and i don't i don't know if i knew about them from inception but i was already <laughs> sick of it <laughs> yeah it's like um Yeah, I just, in general, whereas with Age of Calamity, I was like, oh, cool, we get to see where the story was, and it's different gameplay, and that's fine, you know, Um, but, like, it was lore that I wanted to know about, and now we get to know about, and this one obviously is doing a similar concept, kind of, in that, like, it's telling a different story with the same characters and all that, Um, but I, I just don't know that that 
matters to me as much. Um, like, I feel like I could get a different story with the same characters just by playing one of the other routes, which I haven't done yet. Mm. So, you know. I still on. need to finish this video game. Because, <laughs> like, not this video game, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the, the original video game. Um, because... I had the save file on your profile and then mm-hmm. I got the new not OLED switch and then mm-hmm. I forgot. I didn't, well, I didn't forget. Actually, I just didn't want to go through the hassle of being like, what's your password again? When I'm in the <laughs> GameStop. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so yeah, no, I still got to like finish this game mm-hmm. or the original, but like at the same time, eh. Um, yeah. This is interesting though because yes. we did the age I was about positive things situation. And like they made the original Fire Emblem Warriors, and that was mm-hmm. like the original Hyrule Warriors. And they're yep. like, but, but I don't know, is this a similar thing? Like, does this tell us any new story, or does it? So just- it does. Yeah, they said that it's um, it's the same characters in a just I think a straight up different story. Mm-hmm. So it pretty much takes the same context and all that, but just doesn't retell any of it because like. You know, which is nice because beforehand you could choose kind of a path that you're like, man, I kind of wish I didn't choose this path Mm -hmm. by the end of it if you weren't careful. And everybody got different stories, which is interesting for sure. And I actually like that about it. But um, this are they it's probably easier to tell one more concise thing. And I will say like this compared to again, I didn't even play the original Fire Emblem Warriors because I hadn't played a Fire Emblem game by then. um, And I just like wasn't that interested in it to me this is still completely the way to go with warriors games you know is tell a new story like do something different instead of just like fan servicey fan service kinds of stuff but um but still it just happens to not be like i'm not super excited about this one but on the plus side it you know there's a good chance that still we've got actual fire emblem stuff come down the road too and this is even if it's not for me there's plenty of other games to play so i don't I don't care that much because um for the people that this yeah, I think it's super neat. It. I'm not playing it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> next. Yep. This is also a fire emblem related. <laughs> um, yeah, speaking of intelligence systems. <laughs> also, but like I'm not, I mean, I'm gonna get this game. I'm curious about this game, but I don't know if I'm gonna like this game. Mm. But also, that's how I felt about Fire Emblem. Great, yeah. I didn't buy that one. So, like, <laughs> hopefully, yeah, a similar thing happens with Fire Emblem. Where it's like, you know what? I actually do like this. Uh-huh. Um, but TBD. Yep. Advanced also, Wars reboot camp. We didn't say is what we're talking about. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> but you know, if it was, if you were watching the video, you would see it yeah. right now. <laughs> you would see the video, the trailer playing right now on the screen. It's true. If it helps, also, you can mute the tab instead of having to mute all the videos when they come up. And then you don't have to do that anymore. That's true. I could do that. Um, uh, wait. The, my thoughts on this game are: I haven't played an Advanced Wars game. No, I, I think I. Pro- I don't see yeah. the tab on here. Oh, weird. I'm in Safari. <laughs> ah, I'm in Chrome. That will do it. Yeah, no, Chrome would make me hate my life. <laughs> um so the thing with advanced wars is yeah i haven't played an advanced wars game yet like i am interested but at the same time without it having it's it's so gameplay first from what it seems like that like i i kind of hope they put out a demo at some point Mm -hmm. um because that i think for a lot of people would be the thing to like get them into it is like play a little bit of it and be like oh this is really fun um you know it's it's like similar to a puzzle game in that regard where like once you get into the like loop and that kind of stuff than that of solving those puzzles and going through that stuff then that's it becomes fun and and all that but um uh yeah that's it i think that like animations look great it's great that there's voice acting and stuff like i hope that this does mean way forward keeps doing these going forward <laughs> oh, wow. um and also like the level editor i don't know if that was in any of the older advanced wars games having a level editor and stuff but that seems like a good choice in any case mm-hmm. um so yeah, we'll see. I don't know if I'll pick this up, one up at launch. Kind of depends on what other stuff I'm playing at the time. But I'm I'm interested in it. I'm just not like 100% sold on whether I'm going to be the one to play it mm-hmm. anytime soon. I mean, you could play it. You and I could go half in on it, and then we both take less risk. <laughs> and then True. one of us. I mean, I'm just going to get. Profiles. I'm probably going to get on my uh, Australian account because that has been a thing that has been working for me. Very uh useful. So I'll hit up nice. Mega Man and get the get the vouchers, and then I'll just give you the info for that account too. 
and then you can play <laughs> on that. And that would be even like easier for you to like just play and not have to worry about if I'm like signed in because oh, that's I'm true, not it's ever a- signed in on that account. So like if you're playing it, you'll be fine. The and if you buy you gotta- the game on your Switch digitally, you can still play it on any of the other profiles. Yeah, because it's my problem. home. The home console for that account is my Switch. So I can yeah. play whatever I want from my other accounts because mm-hmm. it's my switch you know yeah um but you'll be able That's to access smart. it online as long as Mega Man is not <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> yeah interesting but yeah there it is so there you go there's that game mm-hmm. uh which we already know about this is a game we already know sure. about but a game we did know about is no man's sky which is a, like this checks off the the box of like game that everybody that thinks they know yep. about computer engineering <laughs> would be impossible but here we are the video game is on the on the platform yeah and i i mean i have to say i i've heard some differing points on this of like oh the stuff in space looks kind of jaggy and stuff and cool sure but some of the yeah. graphics but the looks thing is like beautiful. who cares at the end yeah. of the day like the only yeah. people that Very care much. about that sort of thing already have this game elsewhere they yeah <laughs> already have the platform that they could have been played this game on but the yeah. people that don't care about that and just have a switch and want to play this video game are going to buy this game and be fine with that <laughs> uh-huh man honestly and it really does look like obviously it doesn't look as good as on ps5 and whatever mm-hmm. other places but it looks quite good um yeah man have you ever had any interest in no man's sky i played the game originally when it first came mm-hmm. out and everybody was like man this game's going to be the best game of all time <laughs> uh, it's going to have everything for everyone and yeah. part of that was the developer's fault because they're like yo yeah right i'm missing the moon uh, but from the get-go, hey. like, this game is going to be Minecraft. It is going to be yeah. in every sense of the of the word. Where it mm-hmm. first launches is super bare bones. It has potential to be more than that, and eventually mm-hmm. it will be. I think mm-hmm. that we're at the eventually it will be. It's not as big in uh, this crazy endless game that you can play for the rest of your life, mm-hmm. uh, even like now. But it is a lot closer to that than when it first launched. Yeah, um, is this an um no man is this a 60 dollar game i have no idea how much it costs <laughs> on here but it was 60 dollars on the playstation 4 where i purchased it <laughs> <laughs> um is it on steam i feel like that might be a good it's probably on steam i feel like it's probably point. not 60 dollars on other platforms anymore oh it's 60 dollars on steam oh, i mean i guess because there's so much you know dlc and i yep. mean free updates and stuff like that i could mm-hmm. see that happening but um interesting in any case yeah i mean i think that's super exciting that it's there it it is something i've been interested in um but i, I don't know that i would play it myself I, okay i'll i'll preface the rest of the the direct with this there were lots of games i was like oh that's awesome that that's coming and um later i think in one of the q a questions Mega Man asked something along the lines but here i'll find it Mega Man asked um how do you not make your wallet hurt as much after the direct and i think a lot of it is like a lot of these games are super exciting that they're here and thankfully they're not need to plays for me. They're like fun to maybe play if I want to at some point. And so a whole bunch of games are going to be like that for me. So interesting to talk about more broadly than for I guess. For me, I mean, there's a couple interest. different answers to that. Cause like, I think I'm going to buy multiple games from this mm-hmm. um, or play multiple games from this. And one level of that is very specific to what we do. And I want to ask for codes like this game. I'm yeah. asking for a code for this game. Um, <laughs> the other answer is Mega Man. You already know I'm going to use vouchers. <laughs> um, <laughs> and on top of that, it's like these games are all coming out at the same time, so I don't have to drop the like. If I'm buying ten games, I'm not spending six hundred dollars right now. You know, mm-hmm. I'm spending sixty dollars here, sixty dollars there. Right. Um. So it's like it it doesn't really register. You know, it's mm-hmm. like bits and pieces of purchases at separate times so yeah it's like, eh, did you also isn't terrible you know right yeah that's I, I mean i think for me also it's like thinking about what games i want to, i don't have super hard fomo more often than not so like mm. thinking about what games i want to play as they're coming out versus as, like you know put on a christmas list or birthday list or something like that for later in the year mm. um definitely makes it easier as well but yeah also codes and things when applicable yep um, um when this first came up did you think it was going to be a cloud version because no. i definitely did no 
Nice. Um, yeah, I did. <laughs> mm. It's a long story short, yeah. but then it wasn't. And I was very happy about that. Mm. So. Maybe eventually, I feel like they're like, they could do that as like an optional thing where they just do both. Um, mm -hmm. Because like for the pixel peepers, they could, if it, if it's optimized well enough, because there was, a, uh, I think Digital Foundry did a video, which is like, mm. I have such a love hate relationship with that channel, <laughs> uh, which is I not know. their fault. It's not their yeah. fault. I love what they do. Um, mm -hmm. but what people do with what they do is annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they did a video about the cloud games that are available on Switch right now. Um, mm -hmm. and apparently it's not uh as good as it could be, but <laughs> could get better. And yeah. I think that once it gets to the point where it's consistently good and like the uh the the potential benefits of like, oh, it could look better because it's not running off of your switch hardware and mm -hmm. like it, it could be running off of something that's closer to what developers usually target. Um the pixel peepers have a place to go there. Yeah. Um, but for everybody else, where it's like, I don't really care that much about that thing. I want the consistency of like being able to play the game off my native hardware and like mm -hmm. the convenience of that and all Bring that. Bring it stuff. with me and yeah. um they get. The native version uh but i don't know that's up to developers to invest in that i guess yeah yeah and then for one of the more boring announcements um that's cool. <laughs> just kidding oh right. uh, yeah mario strikers battle league literally as soon as the trailer started like i don't know what it was but there was um yeah that shot right there i was like strikers that's fun <laughs> yeah and, I, I, it was like a little bit after that that i yeah. was like oh shoot because again we were talking about strikers in the beginning yeah. like in the lead up to the start of the director it's like i mean because somebody just brought it up offhand and i was like i mean nintendo owns next level games now <laughs> yeah. oh <laughs> could happen yep. and it is happening yeah it is cool. whatever the mechanic what the video i never i never even checked that because i made that video about strikers i don't know two mm, three yeah. years ago i wonder yeah, yeah. what the comments of that video look like right now <laughs> I I'm gonna go find out in the background. Um, yeah, I wonder what the you know that the whole thing of like there's two different sides of the um of the court field field, mm. and like that they get merged together. Right, like right at the beginning, and then the rest of the time it's just kind of like there. But I wonder if that has any gameplay significance. If you know what I mean, or like there's one that's obviously Bowser's Castle, and then another one that's Mushroom Kingdom on each side. Like, does that? do something or they're like hazards based on that on the sides like i never played any of the other mario strikers games so i don't um... uh well that from what i remember i played the other two uh, -huh. uh but i mean it was over 10 years ago yeah right <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh well not for the um well yeah no it was over 10 years ago from for the last one too mm -hmm. um but yeah no i don't think that that was a thing even like just mm -hmm. aesthetically that each side of the court was yeah like, right Design, that's what i'm saying is like it seems like, like a new thing evil sort of thing this yeah. time and i guess what what i'm curious about is were there like level hazards or something like that that happened um, no not okay. really there's it, it was just like a, a mario kart sort of situation where there's yeah. abilities and stuff that mm -hmm. you can use and that was pretty much the amount of hazards happening in the video game gotcha yeah, I mean, first first thing that stands out about this video about this game is it looks just. I mean, it's next level game, so it's not that surprising after mm. Luigi's Mansion stuff. Yep. Um, but it looks truly so good. It looks like great. I wonder what of this, like which of these are cutscenes versus. Uh, I mean, not, I don't like, know any of that kind of stuff. You know, what's pre rendered versus what is like just in engine or in something like that. Yeah, um, like what can we expect to see? How often? Or what of it is like trailer footage as opposed to you know like i don't know that i've any of the time we see the like strikers looking like you know drawn stuff mm -hmm. is that just for the trailer and promotional material or I is that so. actually i feel like that's probably in the gameplay like the, the cutscene for whatever the special is but i will say i wish the whole game looked like that <laughs> yeah i wish the entire game looked like that that would be uh i mean that lot. said i guess it does make it stand out more when it happens when that happens mm. but yeah man it's it's a great art style i would love to see that more mm. yeah i'm like the the like pixar like you know general style of like mm -hmm. nintendo games is fine but mm -hmm. it's so much cooler if the whole game <laughs> was like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um some other things i'm watching the trailer as well it just and i'm at a different spot uh they talk about the gear and like that that has different um 
like, like you could change some like RPG the, stuff. Yeah. And mm. that's so good. Like I'm I'm glad that the trajectory of Mario sports games on the Switch have been it was just like really bad with tennis as far as like the upgrading gear and stuff. It was literally like you want a you want a better racket maybe mm-hmm. and you just get a better racket and it's like all right cool uh there's no like this one's good at this and this one's good at this other stuff um and then mario golf definitely has more of that where it's like different you know things will change mm. stuff although you know i never actually really played much of mario golf um, same i probably should but yeah eh, here we are uh, and then this is like this seems to be even more of the same kind of thing mm. i'm down i'll play it for how long i don't know but i'll play (laughs) i'm it is the kind of thing like depending on i hope they have like a network test or something like this too that would be interesting um depending on how much ashley enjoys it or what the single player is like probably will determine whether or not this is a game that would be like that i'd be particularly interested in actually getting Mm because i think that's the thing is like i I mean, we know I don't play online at all. Um, yeah, it's very unfortunate. <laughs> so, so I think those would be a thing. But yeah, what does it look like for you? Like, I know they mentioned clubs. I mean, and stuff, I'm going like really nice. pretty much all the thing about it is like with streaming, unless it's a game that I don't care about at all, mm-hmm. I'm kind of frame tracked. Like, I gotta like buy all of it, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. But like, if I actively don't care about it, and I know that the bulk of the experience is me just shitting on the game. I'm gonna buy it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, know, Ooh, like, you did it. Oh, I did the thing. I did the thing. You oh, did man. the thing. <laughs> I did it. Uh, I don't know how far in we are. It's okay. Okay, right. we're good. <laughs> so but yeah, no, no, that makes sense though. Um, it was mostly that then, like, then that's yeah. Like I don't want to do. I don't want to do that. Like if if I'm going into the game knowing that I don't like the game, I don't want to like purposely make people feel bad about the thing that they like. You know. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, I know what you mean. Next game. Cool. <laughs> next game. I'm glad that it happened. Um, all right, Splatoon 3, Salmon Run, Next Wave. Um, well, I mean, that's not the name of the game. It's just Splatoon 3. Yeah, it's just but, the same, they're doing Salmon Run again. Yeah. Here's, I, I mean, I, you say words first. I'll say words after that. Uh, Splatoon 3 still looks cool. Uh, Salmon Run is Salmon Run again. But this time, for whatever reason, they did the We're Dropping Boys thing. And you, you get to be in a, in a helicopter, which is neat. Um, right. I don't know how, like, they, they, they have, the, like, the new boss, Godzilla Man, the kaiju uh-huh. squid mm-hmm. boy. Um, cool. I mean, he's not a squid. He's a salmon. Uh, yeah. Looks neat. Looks like more salmon run. <laughs> salmon run's fun. Yeah. I thought it was an interesting thing to, obviously, they had to show it at some point. But for it to be the only thing that they showed in here definitely felt like, yeah, well, like we still don't know what the single player it's going to look like yeah um, and they didn't give a date for the game so it's i guess like I'm they're they the haven't considered game. anything their like big blowout yet maybe is mm. my guess um so but yeah this seems like something that like would be really interesting to people who already played salmon run and like know it well but even somebody who just played splatoon and didn't really play salmon run much itself might not know like what's new or different about it. like me having seen sand run stuff i'm like i get you're telling me this is new so i believe you that it's new mm. um but it's not like you know from what i saw it's like the, the kaiju man is the 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 most uh-huh. new thing like there, uh-huh. there's like uh what amount to like mini bosses in the regular samurai run this seems like he seems like more of like a boss boss um i yep. don't know why i, I could have been playing that i wasn't even <laughs> thinking about it but yeah, yeah it's the we're dropping boys thing i mean you still <laughs> heat like like uh most other splatoon modes mm-hmm. but for the most part i mean it looks the same it has the like the egg basket situation the hordes come out of the of the goop the mm-hmm. ocean the nasty polluted looking thing and you gotta yep. kill them that's Can't... a returning mini boss that throws the egg mm-hmm. thing off his head he's in the old game it's true but this part I, the new thing this is this is new right here fish sticks which mm-hmm. i mean their naming conventions are always very fun i enjoy this a lot true. <laughs> it's i mean same team has worked on animal crossing pretty sure right yep um and so they're always pretty consistent with just like good puns and stuff like that so 
Mm-hmm. As a dad, I approve. <laughs> Granted, I mean, part of that is that team, but that's the treehouse thing. That's, yeah, you're not wrong. Because, I mean, it starts as, stuff. like, a pun in Japan, but, like, you they know. They have to figure out something in English, yeah. Yep. So, but, yeah, it looks cool. Uh, being able to throw eggs, like, that's a, it seems like a powerful mechanic. Like, when they pointed that out, I didn't know you couldn't before, but I can, yeah. as they pointed out, it's like, oh, cool. If you couldn't before, that seems obviously pretty yeah, strong. Yeah, because probably it's, they'll it's balance like for that, like, too. Oh, so. no, I might die. Yeah. Here, take this egg. Or, <laughs> I'm so close, but, again, I might die. I'm going to throw the egg. Or we're almost yep. out of time. I'll throw the egg and thing. Mm-hmm. You know, like, that That will be useful. Yeah. Um, and definitely that like ups the ceiling in general where like they know that that's something that can make the game easier. So therefore there's going to be, you know, higher skill ceilings of more complicated stuff and all that. So, I don't you know, for people who already played, that's I awesome. I don't even necessarily think it makes the game easier. Cause like in the, like that, that specific interaction where you're throwing mm-hmm. the egg to like another teammate, sure. But mm-hmm. like, then you're introducing the layer of like, well, you have to aim and hit the, the right. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I guess I not necessarily easier, but like, because there's more versatility that they've mm. probably planned a counter for that. You know what I mean? Is, but yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. It looks cool though. Um, I'm, I'm down still down. Splatoon. Seeing more about it and all that. Yeah. Um, next up. Other people have more things to say on this. I don't have much to say on this. Front mission first. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> when it first came what... up, I, I truly didn't know. Like, and I, I still don't really know that much. I mean, I know a little bit more now, but um I know just as little as I did when it initially was revealed. <laughs> like it looks as it gets into some of the gameplay, it, it looks a little bit familiar in the um mechs shooting each other's like arm and picking a body part and stuff but i think i might also just be thinking of seeing something from like fallout where you get to pick a body part to shoot or something like that so i might be conflating those two things or like damon x machina yeah right oh also this trailer that they put on here is doesn't even have the gameplay in it yeah it doesn't it's funny but i mean you know cool it should be a thing big thing uh, this game is the the Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl of Mario Kart. Yeah, <laughs> or I guess more accurately, the multiverses because it's free to play. It's the That's Disney uh, racing kart racer uh, Speedstorm. Yep, I don't care about this game. Very uh, much not. I might try it. I mean, it's free, so might exactly, as well. Exactly, it's free. Um, but it but, definitely feels like it's not going to be, I don't know. It's the same people that made asphalt and like, you know, apparently that's, I know Bob's talked about that yeah, and said that that's Bob fun. That game. So it means that it's definitely not like terrible, but like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not super optimistic in any regard, nor do I, even if I were optimistic about its quality, would I necessarily care about the content? Yeah. <laughs> so. Yep. You know. like i already barely care about mario kart you know <laughs> like i barely care about mario kart and the, mm-hmm. the the ip has little to nothing to do with it because like i'm not playing mario kart and i'm like man i can't wait to play as x character because i usually uh-huh. use my me so mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. in this game it's like i mean i guess like i i joked when i was, I was watching what them podcasts when they were talking about this um and i joked i was like y'all play this if they put stitch in it and it's like that's just because i don't think that there's like a me equivalent <laughs> so it's like, yeah it's like i mean i gotta play as something <laughs> yep. but disney itself is not ever going to be enough for me to be like i want to play a kart racer you know it's yeah like- i mean and also there's obviously like uh i mean it being free to play it's gonna be a you know microtransaction yep. fest and stuff mm-hmm. so like me. Eh whatever and it's obviously going to come to other platforms as well and so like mm-hmm. if you're like wow it's a kart racer but it looks so nice and it's all these places i recognize like you probably end up playing it somewhere else i guess yeah, i mean I you mean, can play it on the go you know so that's fun platforms but, that don't have their own mario kart this will probably do great but yep. it's like it's yeah just... and speaking of games that look really really crisp and good that's a star fact. wars the fourth game that came <laughs> out a decade ago no i will say i mean with this like it definitely looking at oh this is a different trailer um it definitely looks you know last gen or pre-last gen it just looks like a port <laughs> but that said at least it's like 
it's probably one of those things where like, oh, that doesn't look that great. But then if you go back and watch the actual Wii footage where it's not upscaled to, mm. you know, at least 720, maybe 1080p or something like that, it looked worse by yeah, a considerable this is, margin. This is another one of those things that the shorthand is always like, this game looks like a PS2 game. And then you look at PS2 and you're like, oh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm this done. looks like an upscaled <laughs> PS2 game. And, you know. It looks like which, a yeah. game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Which is yeah, what it was. it's funny. Honestly, some of these, uh, some of these shots look way crisper than other shots, which is a little bizarre. I think some of them are cutscenes and some of them are not. Yeah, I guess so. Like, what's this one? No, I mean like that. I don't know. It's weird. There's one at 35 seconds, um, that like just looks, um. Or I guess it's at it's at 37 seconds. In any case, it just looks a lot better than the other ones don't. But nevertheless, I'm not going to be playing this. Um, but cool that it's here for people that like it. Maybe it's good. I might play it. I like Star Wars when there's laser swords involved. And there's laser <laughs> swords. Agreed. Uh, so I might get it. I have Maybe no... I'll ask for a code. <laughs> <laughs> this is... I have nothing to say about. I aggressively Creed. don't care about Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah. and that's what I said in the Wolf Den podcast chat as well. Yeah. I do not care even a little bit about Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Assassin's Creed, the Ezio collection. It's coming there it Switch. is. If you care Ta-da. about Assassin's Creed, you can play it on your <laughs> Nintendo Switch system. Something I will say about the, not this game, we can keep moving on from this game, but the, the direct in general was very like back to back with stuff. Like, mm-hmm. and that was nice. And the longest that they talked about one thing is, we'll talk about it later, um, is Nintendo Switch Sports. Um, and that even still felt pretty concise. Yeah. It like was they didn't have any like, and now games. let's take, you know, 12 minutes to talk about whatever. Um, mm-hmm. So that was, I think that was Developer good. It was really well paced. diary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly so um i we can pretty much sd gundam alliance cool it's like chibi gundams um, yeah this is the only gundam thing that i know anything about is it really and, yes i know nothing because about it. this was on uh toonami it was on one of those car- anime mm-hmm. cartoon block mm-hmm. things when i yep. was a child and i was like yo this looks way uh more up my alley than regular gundam because regular Gundam takes uh-huh. itself too seriously, and I don't care, you know? Honestly? Like, whenever something I takes itself that. seriously, and I don't, it just makes me want to care about it less. But yep. this is, like, inherently stupid, because it's like, yo, look at all the small chibi robot men. Also, why does this trailer look so much better than the one that they showed in the Direct? I don't know. Maybe this one's later in development or something. Yeah, maybe so. Like, literally, just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like, Watching this trailer, it's definitely more enticing. Like, I still don't know that I'll play it necessarily, but I don't know. It just looks a lot better. <laughs> I don't know if I'll play this either, but I like SD Gundam's cool. Yeah. We do, and we don't have that many Gundam games or, you know, mech games or whatever mm-hmm. on um, on Switch. So it's true. Cool for, for the fans. That's a fact. Speaking of cool for the fans, um alec get ready to be re-excited chrono Chrono cross Cross. radical dreamers editions this is another game that i don't care about but i'm glad that (laughs) people that do care about it are getting it (laughs) exactly yeah it's there's it seems like there's a bunch of settings too in it that i've heard about somewhere or something like that because the default it looks a little bit just the like backgrounds being one thing and the foregrounds being like different resolutions and stuff like that or whatever it is. It's mm. one of those things that like it meshed really well on, you know, CRTs PS1. and stuff like that, PS1. Um, whereas now that it's crisper, it feels like a little bit odd, but apparently there's some settings to be able to do some stuff about that. So maybe there's ways to make it look even better. But in any case, still, you get to play it and who cares what it looks like if it's the game that you've been waiting to play and all that. Truth. Plus like, can't look that much worse. <laughs> <laughs> the original. True. Um, but yeah, cool. There it is. There Chrono it is. Cross. Chrono Cross. All right. Getting to the real now. This is juicy the, stuff. The star of the show, dude. <laughs> mouthful, man. Kirby mouthful. Mm. You know? I had forgotten that they called it that. Like I just kind of missed that. And I'm sure you guys, because I, I had the stream on, but it was like turned down quite a bit and I was just watching. Mm. I'm sure you guys talked about mouthful mode yeah, a whole lot. Super cursed, man. <laughs> so then afterwards, when I was like, what was everybody's favorite? And you're like, oh, mouthful. and I read I was like, <laughs> like 
what? Like a bunch <laughs> of RPGs with long names? <laughs> no, mouthful mode. Uh, yep. It is so funny though. I'm, <laughs> honestly, like, yeah, every every trailer we see about this game, I'm more and more excited about it. It looks so, so good. That's a fact. They got the freaking Kirby. Did you see that meme where it's like the, uh, somebody in a boardroom asked this question of how does Kirby like eat a car oh, where it's yeah. like <laughs> b- from behind the car or above the car? Yep. I did see that. It was pretty funny. They answered the question, man. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, like, I'm I'm curious to the things that are going to like make or break this game at this point of being like just a fun either way I'm going to enjoy playing it is my mm-hmm. prediction it's going to be a fun game no matter what but whether it'll be like just you know off how off long will it be fun yeah, yeah is like I think that is the, the gameplay the itself thing. enjoyable I mean that's mm-hmm. like pretty basic like is moving around doing stuff as Kirby feel fun and or frictionless like that kind of thing Mm -hmm. and then the other thing of like the i don't know world building like secrets and levels and that kind of like just overall kind of game structure is that fun and that's pretty much true of every game and both of those things so far are looking very optimistic um yeah this looks like a good game i think that this will be one of the good kirby games like the some of the 3ds ones are very good um Mm -hmm. other kirby games are boring Yep. I don't think that this would be one of those. <laughs> I, um, yeah, one of the things right here where he, in the trailer where he's going into upgrade weapons and stuff, like that's also super fun that like, you know, there's some customizability and stuff to be able to make your things more powerful. And it just yep, feels, you can progression is nice. <laughs> yep. That's a fact. Yeah. I'm down. Yep. Getting it. This was about the only one that Ashley was particularly excited about. Um, and the rest yeah, somewhat, but mostly that one. Yeah, this game is cool. This is like the 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 game and Splatoon 3, but Splatoon 3, there wasn't really anything new shown there. Salmon Run is new for Splatoon 3, but it's not uh-huh. new. Um, yeah, this true. was only a game that I'm like, yo, I'm 1000% getting this. I had mm-hmm. no idea about the stuff that they showed here. Uh-huh. I'm more down. Mm-hmm. It's true. Good Next stuff. game, though, I don't care about this. But also, like, this is another thing that's like I don't care about this, but it's a pretty big deal for a few mm-hmm. different reasons. It's like it's the first major baseball game on Nintendo platform in X amount of years, potentially mm-hmm. ever. I don't know. I'm not a baseball fan, but I know it's been <laughs> a long time. <laughs> I don't know. If baseball was on NES. True. So, true. 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 But that's not like a, that's not like a MLB. No. 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 I know. Yeah. Um. But also, this is a PlayStation developed game, which mm-hmm. like is like this is annoying because it's like they're getting like good press for something that they one thousand percent did not want to do. <laughs> like they, <laughs> they did not want to do any of this. People were like, "Yo, PlayStation is making a cross-platform, uh, mm-hmm. cross-play video game." MLB, I guarantee you, force them to do this. I guarantee. <laughs> you. I will put a lot of money on that. Yeah. Um. But. Good on them for making them do it. <laughs> It'll be, I mean, yeah, seeing, when does this come out? 5th of April. That's super soon. Um, soon. Seeing the Famitsu charts on this game and like in Japan specifically, because I'm sh- like, Japan is one of the biggest baseball markets to my understanding. And mm. so like seeing how many people are buying it here versus PS4 versus PS5 and stuff like, yeah, I feel like this is a good move all in all. Even though grass kind of looks like, butts and all that but like you know playing the game so that's a fact i don't whatever care. I'm people buy fifa on switch brass. i'm playing as the football i mean the football the baseball <laughs> man you're playing as the baseball get punched around kingdom hearts we already knew about this i don't care yep same all right moving on uh klonoa brooks probably popped off for this <laughs> he was very I've seen screenshots of like <laughs> Yeah, like this versus originals and like it definitely it looks it's one of those where like it's not quite to the same degree as like Spyro and Crash where it's mm-hmm. like fully from the ground up or whatever, but it definitely looks better and is one of those like it's how you remember it, even though it's better than yeah, you remember it. It, it kind looks of as thing. good as you remembered, but how you remembered it was way was better. <laughs> it's like yeah. the more positive thing of like this looks like a PS2 game. <laughs> yeah, right. So yeah, this is awesome. I've never played a Klonoa game. I don't know anything about that. I played but... Klonoa on the PlayStation 2. 
mm-hmm. but I didn't like beat it because like this was like, like in the PlayStation 2 era, my mom would just randomly go to Blockbuster and like rent like eight <laughs> games where it's like, oh yeah, AJ and you know, his friends and yeah. my siblings would probably like That's this fun. game and then just bring all those home. And this was one of those games. I was like, this is neat. I don't know if I would ask to buy it, but it's neat. <laughs> um, but I'd probably play this. Yeah. Depending yeah. on sure. what else I'm playing during that time. Mm-hmm. Cool. For example, you might be playing Portal. That's you a fact. Know. Portal is sick. <laughs> Everybody play Portal. Plus, I've, I think both of these are like twenty dollars. Like each together? or together? No, together? Like together. I think together this game is like twenty dollars. I am finding that out because that would be very interesting to know. Steam was like games are really cheap on Steam. They that's games are really cheap on switch too right <laughs> and they'll say uh yeah uh-huh mm-hmm, yep maybe this is their play maybe they think that people will buy a two thousand dollar pc if they realize <laughs> that they can get a game for ten dollars on pc there you go. <laughs> um i'm looking it's not showing the price yeah twenty dollars good okay definitely pick that up for sure yeah definitely i played it. portal one um bits and pieces of it at a friend's house um so, but I haven't played it all the way through and I haven't played Portal 2 at all. So, um, yeah. Also, this game inspired Breath of the Wild and a whole bunch of other games that are good. So mm-hmm. if you're into that sort of thing, like the, the history of video games, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> yep. Nice. Good uh, stuff. What? Live alive is how to say this, right? That's the th- I think so. That's the thing. I um, Apparently, Kevin Kenton is hype off of this game. That's all I know about it. Also, I think Alec is hype about this game too. Did you Question see the, the Pear, Pear Schneider's tweet about this? That's most of what I've learned. About I this saw game that, that Pear tweet. Schneider tweeted about this. Okay. I did not look at this. <laughs> so long story short, it's like an interesting game because it was like like really good RPG in the SN, uh, Super Famicom era, but never got localized. And it's interesting because there's like, kind of like Octopath, there's seven different stories that take place in seven different like, time eras ones like in western ones in the future ones in the past blah, 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 whatever i mean each of those were like designed by or written by or something by different people i don't mm. i don't know whether it was like the story writers or the program or like how exactly that came together I hate and then this. the last the last story brings them all together in one thing for so, podcast listeners specifically yeah. i'm talking about the hd2d, HD2D. Yeah, i knew it as soon as it came <laughs> up I, was, I literally turned because I was a little bit ahead of where you were when you were watching it. And they said HD2D and I turned it up and I was like, does AJ complain about it? <laughs> and you didn't then, but you do now. And that's everything is right with the world. <laughs> it's so dumb. I hate it. So, but yeah, it's cool. Cause it's like a whole bunch of different gameplay styles throughout the game. Um, and it's HD2D. So <laughs> which detracts from it, honestly, <laughs> um, I was yeah. going to not play this before, but I'm definitely not going to play it now. <laughs> it also is published by Nintendo. So that's just, just fun, you know? Um, them. Yeah, it's, it looks, I mean, that's July that's 22nd. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There it is. Speaking of Nintendo, Nintendo Switch Sports is the game that everybody has been waiting for, but like not, you know? <laughs> uh-huh. So I, I tweeted about this and I I don't know how this is going to affect the video one way or another, but I, I've been wanting to make a video about um like Blue Ocean games, mm-hmm. uh, like for Nintendo specifically. Yep. And I don't even know the direction I'm going in. And I think, because I I... I know the concept of Blue Ocean, but vaguely enough that I don't know that I really could pinpoint exactly what it means. So I'm staying at exactly that amount of knowledge and then going to start the video from there and then just kind of see what happens. Mm. Um, but this definitely has something to do with it. Um, and so the prompt was going to be more like Ring Fit, but this is also, you know, fits in all that. So I mean, it's very we'll similar to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where it's like, there's a lot of stuff that a lot of people like like in in a broad sense you know like mm-hmm. a lot of people like sports that's a big industry yeah. you know um a lot of people like video games <laughs> you know that's a big <laughs> industry so you uh-huh. combine those two together and you make it a a game that a lot of people can intuitively play yep it's a great strat especially since not a lot of other game development companies 
think to do that strat. So it's like a <laughs> high potential thing with very low competition. Mm-hmm. Um, is generally with a blue ocean. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Um, and this is that, but also it's kind of like even better than that generally, because a lot of times, nostalgia. like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like a lot of times, blue ocean strategies are like they come part and parcel with something that's like untried. Um, yeah. In so it has inherent risk for sure. Yeah. But yeah. Wii Sports has already been proven. But also, mm-hmm. this is weird because like they could have just did Wii Sports, you know? Yeah. Like they could have just did Wii Sports again, but better. But this is like they like did less sports. They are not. That is the weird part to me. But what well, kind of, again, yeah, less sports? Here's because there's my, like a lot of crossover with what the sports are. Like there's yeah. freaking badminton and tennis. Why? Yeah, right. and volleyball which is also similar very similar <laughs> to mm-hmm. that concept where's boxing at you know yeah uh where's baseball golf I mean, before they later. mentioned <laughs> so that's the one that's interesting before they mentioned golf i was like this definitely seems like one that's going to be kind of a games as a service where they mm. just do free updates with new games over time and yep. they mentioned golf but the way they mention it for now seems to suggest that that's the only one that's going to be added. Yeah. And, and the way that they mentioned Granted, the like leg is- kick strap thing, it makes it seem like, well, that's, that's all the stuff that's going to be coming to it. Cause we're still kind of working on it, but we will finish it up eventually. Yeah. I don't know I, if that's actually going to be the case, but still. I think that this could be uh spoilers for a topic that we, we have bragging <laughs> rights for. Uh, this could be a, a similar situation to the expansion pass where at, from yep. the from the jump they weren't like we're definitely yep. doing more with this. But it's like the sort of thing that like you can you can reasonably infer they're probably doing more with this, you know, because mm-hmm. like the, all, at at the gate they're like, hey, remember that thing that we said that we're doing? We're doing mm-hmm. this and also that, you know, like we're doing yeah. the Wii Sports with these games that are Switch Sports with these games that we're telling you are in the package, but also we're doing this game, you know? Mm-hmm. It's so like, that's enough to be like, leave the door open and be like, hey, we'll do more. Mm-hmm. you know, but not explicitly saying that in case this game does terribly for whatever reason, <laughs> they're like, ah, okay, well, we'll do the three games that we're already planning on or whatever. And then we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Um, rather than being like, we are definitely doing way more than this, and this will be a living game. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it fails, and then they don't do that, and then people get mad about it. And it, it definitely, like, uh, this in conjunction with Clubhouse Games, too, like, mm. where they did bowling there, but it wasn't it wasn't Nintendo Switch Wii. Bowl, or it wasn't Wii Bowling, wasn't, yeah. and they did other games um, that were, like, the non-Wii Sports versions of those. And it's like, you guys could have done that. Like Clubhouse Games kind of felt like a non-branded, I mean, it was branded as Clubhouse Games, but a non-like mm. We Play branded, We Play kind of a thing, right. sort of. Yeah. Um, and a lot of I, literal ways it was that because mm-hmm. it had yeah. We Play Games in it. <laughs> yeah. But so I do wonder if it wasn't as successful at those kinds of things as they might've wanted it to be. Mm-hmm. And they were like, whatever, we just got, we're going to go with the actual branding that, you know, make sense for this yeah and so yeah because i I feel like at this point they can't really do they could do a we play but they would need new games probably were Mm -hmm. those um they're to do a nintendo switch play and stuff so like yeah there's a you know they've got a whole roster of that series now that they can start dipping their toes into more and more um so i'm curious if they do that or if this becomes a kind of one-off but for what it's worth this coming in at the tip not the tail end of the switch but like into the life cycle of the switch definitely the best way to go yeah yeah because like you don't want to kick off with this and people be like is it the Wii again oh it's just gonna be the Wii, again. you know whatever mm-hmm. um, right but once it's like already proven itself then 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 it know. can do the 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 uh mm-hmm. the blue ocean plays again yeah i mean it's like you know jurassic world the third one now has the three people there has uh whoever from the Jurassic Park movies. Um, and it's like, yeah, we were our own movie franchise, but now we're bringing back the nostalgia or whatever. Mm. So like bring it in at the tail end. So I don't know. looks cool. It is also like, is it $30 or $40? I think 40, 40. 40. that's yeah. like good price point 
for that and this is like a bunch of people being like it should be free and i'm like you're you're dumb (laughs) if you you actually think that that makes any sense like it it should be free as a like if it was a favor you know if they're like Uh yeah right appreciate gamers but like as a corporation that wants to make money they are Mm -hmm. not going to sell 100 million more switches off the back of this game yeah they will sell a lot of games off of the back of the fact that they sold 100 million switches so the game needs to cost money for them to make money on the video game hard i think in addition to that too like it assumes that people were buying we're only getting wii sports because it was free with the yeah and really they were paying three hundred dollars or two hundred dollars for wii sports Sports. that's what (laughs) wii sports was never a free game it was a 250 and dollar video game yeah (laughs) like that maybe would mean they would buy more games in the future and for a lot of people it meant that they would never, you know? Mm. So like, yeah, it's, um, also the other part of that is like, not every territory got Wii sports as a pack in. Hmm. Like I'm pretty sure Japan had to fight for it. I'm pretty sure. I, I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that I've read that, somewhere what, like while Reggie that, was like, yo, <laughs> that, yeah, the Reggie was like, it's gotta be like, it's gotta be a pack in. We've got to do that. And that ended up being like, you know, a huge move. Mm-hmm. Um, could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. I know for a fact, though, that it it's not a pack-in everywhere. Um, and then also, like, Wii Sports Resort wasn't a pack-in. You know, like, th- there was one Wii Sport game ever. There have been multiple Wii Sport games now. <laughs> and only mm-hmm. one of them is free. <laughs> and only <laughs> some places, you know. Yeah, right. So... So yeah, there's this game. They also, That's they it. spent longer than I expected to talking about it uh, mm. with the like demo and stuff, but it doesn't matter. They're, but we get a little demo next week. So that'll be cool. If anywhere, um, they're, if they're going to spend a lot of time talking about anything, they should have been justifying why the game looks like this in terms of like the character. So that's what I was, next thing I was going to say. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Is why? Like, why did you do that? Like, I don't know. Like, I, I get, I don't understand why, but I understand that they are distancing themselves from me. They have yeah. been doing it all generation. And mm-hmm. I think it's less because of, a, of we and more because Wii U was like, oh, mm-hmm. shoot, people love Mies, man. Let's make the whole console yeah, about right. Mies. And then they like conflated that with like, oh, man, people don't like the Wii U. They must not like Mies, <laughs> you know? Um, so with the Switch, it's like, Mies are there. Like, you can make a me, but like, they're not really there, you know? Um, and yeah. this game kind of like doubles down on that. And it's like, it looks like you can use your me, but mm-hmm. it doesn't look like Mies. And it looks like worse than the stuff that they use uh-huh. Mies for. Like, there's like a whole video in that, like how like Switch uses <laughs> Mies. You know, because yeah, like right. they they like in some places they like super double down on the tech of like Mies can be so much more <laughs> Breath of the Wild, you know, yeah, and then yeah. there's other games like this or Metopia. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but for this game, Mies kind of exists, I guess. So what I wonder <laughs> with this is if the um custom the new avatars or whatever are are just new me's in that like they still are just as customizable and the ones that they put on here happen to be very generic looking ones in addition to that Mm -hmm. um but that like maybe you can still basically you know do the same kinds of stuff with these people i i don't know yeah let me pull up this i would assume that but they're (laughs) ugly (laughs) yeah right they don't i mean but arguably Mies are also very ugly. <laughs> like, yeah, but they're like endearing. Like these these Mies, like their proportions look like they're trying to be more like quote unquote realistic, but they're like stuck in this weird uncanny valley place. Whereas Mies are like very clearly like this is art, an artistic thing that we're going for. Mm-hmm. And it, uh, this loses that, I think. Yeah, no, I, I feel that for sure. And it, these definitely feel like... um I don't know, the knockoff DreamWorks kind of. Yeah, yes, 1,000%. <laughs> this looks more like it was like a, uh, you ever see like the Deka Sports uh, games? They were like uh-huh. knockoff Wii Sports on Wii. <laughs> this uh-huh. looks like this is that. <laughs> like this is what <laughs> these characters look like. Yep. Man, I'm looking at, I'm just looking at a, uh, specific spot and there's a bunch of characters in the background i'm trying to see how value some of them says mark (laughs) that's That's a fact we have me's at home the video (laughs) and granted i mean i think this game looks cool i'm going 
Yeah, I mean, it looks fun. But it could have been. It could have like been the home run of like, yo, remember mm-hmm. we sports? We mm-hmm. got switch sports, you know? And yep. it's like we got switch sports and, and and that's lowercase switch in lowercase sports. Uh-huh. And the I think, yeah, the things that if it had more games or we knew more games were coming, that would be a good thing. But I, mm. I think the price point was well done. Like I keep yeah. just thinking about that. Like if it were $60, people would be mad. Yeah. Um, $40 just of feels right. Of course they would. So, Cause oh, yeah, people yeah. are mad about 40. <laughs> you're right. Exactly. Gamers hate spending money, dude. They hate it. <laughs> they hate it, which is crazy. Cause it's like, you're in the wrong hobby. Cause there's a uh-huh. lot of money that needs to be spent here. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, like, I'm not saying I love spending money, but, like, mm-hmm. it's an expectation. <laughs> yeah. Like, you got it. The thing that does suck a little bit is, like, <laughs> true. They, as opposed, to, it's kind of taking a step back from Sports Resort in that, like, the some of the Switch thing to do is the Breath of the Wild of things of, like, you make it more immersive and make it mm-hmm. more whatever, you know. Um, and this, having just, like, a top menu of like which game do you want to play yeah it feels like it could have been a good opportunity for them to like double down on making a world that you go and go interact to with the things. court go yeah. to the course <laughs> you know like that sort of stuff exactly so i think that would have been um that would have been good but mm-hmm. whatever but yeah i guess we'll play it next week and talk about it that's a fact i'll probably stream it nice uh this game uh bob likes these games okay interesting i don't like i don't know if he likes the game so much as he likes the style of the game and Mm -hmm. like it's a drum (laughs) (laughs) um but he talks about this game a a strange amount (laughs) (laughs) that's funny it's Uh, yeah i mean obviously it's got its audience um it i don't know do you have to buy the like the, the actual drums to play i have it? no idea i know that bob tried to get the drum from like he tried to like talk to bandai and be like yo can you like send me the drum and they're like nah because like this isn't a japanese game i mean like mm-hmm. we're like it's a japanese game and like you're not in that in that market yeah. um so no but like i don't know they didn't really talk about the drum at all so I, yeah I, I have no idea interesting Huh? Yeah, there you go. I think I like the what's on screen just a second ago. The little like that you can play as a band together and stuff. Like a lot of this stuff. If you like, if you like Taiko no Tetsujin, I can mm. see that this being like really up your alley. Yeah, um, I'd be curious if there was a demo. I would definitely try the demo for what it's worth. Also, they got the subscription service, which is yep. interesting. Interesting indeed, because it definitely seems like one of those things. Like if you're into it, you're super into it. Mm-hmm. So and 500 songs is a lot of songs. That's, I don't know yeah, how much, like, like how much this costs. <laughs> um, so yeah, it being a subscription service really is interesting, though for sure. Mm-hmm. But like as opposed to just DLC or whatever. And I guess they'll rotate those in and out or something. Like that's a it's a smart play on their side, even if it feels borderline scummy maybe mm. maybe not i don't know i'm not I mean, fan, I think so it like, completely depends on the price exactly like yeah. subscription service can be uh three dollars a year or three hundred dollars a month you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah and we don't know where that's at you know yeah um yeah, exactly something tells me it'll probably be somewhere in the like five dollars a month territory which is arguably too much but if you mm-hmm. like this game you like this game yeah there you go and just like if you like triangle strategy, you you like it. And um, That's I haven't played the demo yet. I actually I want to go play the demo, the new one. All the other stuff, the like the Octopaths and like all that crap. Mm-hmm. I like downloaded the demo, <laughs> and I probably turned it on once. I no, I'm not even. I'm not entertaining <laughs> this even a little bit. <laughs> like, no, I, I am excited to play the demo because like I enjoy I really enjoyed the gameplay of the last one. The mm. like story bits parts of it, I feel like it drops you right in the middle. So I was kind of confused of what was going on. Um at, at least a little bit. Or at least I just didn't have like many preferences on like which path would you decide? I was like, mm. I uh good, a good guy's side, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. Cool. Um, so having a bit more invested in the characters and stuff like that feels like it would be cool. Alex says he's playing the demo right now. So yeah, nice. I mean, yeah, this is, this is one of those kinds of games where it's like, as soon as I start to play it, it's, it's kind of a lost cause. Like it's, it's going to happen, but 
I'll hold off on starting for at least until I'm a little bit further in Arceus. <laughs> and we've got a month till it comes out. Looks good. That's true. It's a game. Yeah. That's my input. The Cuphead. Cuphead DLC. DLC. Neato. Cool. <laughs> the only thing, like, whenever Cuphead comes up, the, the first thing that comes to mind is that me and Bob played it at that party that one time. Uh-huh. Uh huh. This game's fun. I like this game. But, like, will I play the DLC to, like, all the way through? Probably not. <laughs> but I'll check it out. Yep. I think, like, here's the thing with Cuphead in general for me. Like, it's it's a it's a hard game um and i'm fine with the concept of hard games and stuff but i think i don't care much about the gameplay part itself um and i think the aesthetic is really cool but i could just watch the aesthetic so i just Mm, like there's it's not really worth it to me to learn to be good at it the only thing for me (laughs) that i don't like about cuphead is i don't like the platform segments in this video mm-hmm. game because it does mm-hmm. not feel like that i mean and maybe with the dlc that'll change um mm-hmm. but it, like the game was not originally made to be that you know like mm-hmm. it was just a boss rush situation and very i think that part of the game is very well designed the platforming yeah. segments i don't like or care i can see that for sure <laughs> like and especially because um, like i so a thing that was fixed or a worry that I had for Metroid Dread that wasn't the case of Metroid Dread was the whole like in run and gun type games like Mega Man or whatever, the whole like aiming just to the side or up or Mm. like kind of diagonal maybe, but like jumping to shoot the right spot in the platforming sections. I'm really bad at that. Like it's it's not to say it's necessarily well built or anything. I couldn't tell you because I'm just bad at it anyway. Mm. Um, But like aiming to the right little character on the screen, it sucks and i hate it um whereas with the boss at least it's like a larger area so like i could see those being more fun for those reasons Mm -hmm. like you're learning the patterns and all that kind of stuff but um it's just the movement doesn't feel good for that sort of thing because it's like the ball it it almost feels like the the movement is limited intentionally to make the bosses feel more challenging Mm, but that that. feels terrible when you're platforming (laughs) yeah um so it's like yeah yeah but I mean, game's but, fun, but yeah. I just don't really like the platforming segments. Yeah, and awesome that there's DLC coming. I totally miss the delicious last course being DLC pun at um at the Game Awards, and Ashley was like, ah, <laughs> yeah, DLC. I, I, I was didn't like, even, didn't even notice that until right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> it took took me a minute for sure. I well, just, it took me a minute. Just somebody pointed it out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was see, the, the thing is like, I just did. I didn't even like put that two and two together that this had a subtitle just yeah. in my head it's like oh cuphead dlc <laughs> so, uh-huh. <I> don't want... <laughs> so there it is um next up speaking of dlc it's <laughs> big ass to speak in dlc free dlc free update it's i metroid dread they, did, um, they they made both they made both sides of the gaming community angry <laughs> <They made laughs> the, the people that are like games should be easy and approachable angry and they made people uh, games should be hard and because back in my day games were hard uh-huh. and they're like G- games are both <laughs> they can be both um and that's cool yeah it is it's it's interesting so i'm curious about the behind the scenes of this if i'm being honest because the that first update of the difficulty patches and stuff for the dread mode and the rookie mode and stuff and mm. the boss rush feel very like easy updates to make, like easy mm. modes to make, um, which is great. And, but I am curious about just, yeah, the behind the scenes of like what the path was in terms of like, they, I'm sure they would love to have even more sales out of Metroid Dread, even though it's already by now the best selling Metroid game. Yeah. Um, so is this something where they were like, oh, you guys weren't planning to do any updates, but like, could you do an update real quick? <laughs> and they were something- like, all right, we could throw something together. <laughs> <laughs> Something that I heard is that the dev team of this game is like really invested in the like speed run community for this mm, game. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. I could definitely see them like even if it wasn't like a, a like a green lit from the from the jump sort of like Nintendo budgeted for this. 
uh, yeah. to have post-release content. I could see the dev team taking notes on like, oh, okay, people like this, people don't like this. This could be yeah. better if we did this this way. This could be more interesting and like create mm-hmm. uh, better or cooler runs for people to do if yeah. we introduce these elements to the game. Mm-hmm. Um, that I, I think is probably what caused this is like, just cause they're very invested in like how people are playing the video game right now. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, I guess the question for this is too, like I, none of these modes are ones that I'm particularly interested in interfacing with the game with, Mm -hmm. um, do you think, what do you think there are the chances for me? No, no, well, I wasn't going to say that. (laughs) I was going to say, what do you think are the chances after this of getting more updates or DLC or something like that? Like getting Um, more out of Metroid Dread? I think, I mean, it could go either way, honestly. Because I do think that these modes will breathe more life into the game, particularly mm-hmm. the dread mode. But the the rookie, see, the thing about it is I think the like at the front, like front loaded, uh, um, like uh, mm-hmm. results from this update yeah. will be that speed runners and people like that are, are very interested in the dread mode right mm, yeah people watching those speed runners become interested in the video game because they're yeah. like video game look cool and then they <laughs> try dread mode and they're like i suck and then they try regular <laughs> game and they're like i still suck and then they're like oh but the rookie mode and that you know yeah like, yeah they can use that to get better at the regular mm. mode and then use that to get better for dread mode yeah um but I don't know if like barring they sell another 3 million copies, if that means that we'll get more updates or Mm -hmm. maybe there's more ideas that they have that could be like, this could make the speed running community even better Mm -hmm. for this game. Um, And they do that update. Um, I don't really pay attention to that part of gaming in general. I've never really been super interested in speed running. So I don't know what those things could be, Um, Mm -hmm. but I'm sure they're there. Yeah. I think them calling the second, uh, calling them first update and second update mm-hmm. definitely leaves room yeah. for more like final update at some point. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. Um, but whether that's something big or not is to, to kind of TBD. And I, I do feel like they would have decided early on um, whether or not they were going to have some kind of DLC. Also, additionally, I guess I thought about this at the time and forgot about it until just now. Um, if there was, I, I was expecting something from from this direct to show up on the expansion pass, and mm. that happened. Yeah. You know, we'll Close. talk about that in a little bit. Um, but they wouldn't want to announce both of those things at the same time. I would imagine, you know, like at that point, announce if they did have like DLC coming to it, then they could easily announce that you know as part of their summer direct or something if mm-hmm. they also announce other metroid stuff they could be like or dlc for this and whatever so yeah i definitely wouldn't rule it out in my mind um even though these ones aren't particularly interesting to me but like yeah for you're right for the speedrun community and stuff and people that like mm-hmm. like specifically challenging things then like i'm not <laughs> sure if i could see them doing dread dlc specifically on the expansion pass because it feels more like the dlc that's going to land there is stuff that people want anyway like ongoing right like mario kart is a huge video game Mm -hmm. animal crossing is a huge video game so it's Mm -hmm. like those are two games that people already own and they they could spend 25 dollars on both of those games or they can spend 20 more dollars or whatever Mm -hmm. it is on their current uh like their current subscription for switch online particularly Mm -hmm. for mario kart somewhat for animal crossing because like animal crossing like you could play that game entirely by yourself and there's no real value taken away from it but Mm -hmm. mario kart is mostly a multiplayer thing like people Mm -hmm. play this game together generally but animal crossing is like i'm changing my island and i'm doing Mm -hmm. you know the 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 multiplayer stuff is like more like uh, not superficial, but it's, it's just like a thing of like, we're running around my island together. <laughs> you know, like that's not <laughs> yeah. like the, the inherent value of the video game. Yeah. Um, so I just, I don't know if they would do DLC that way with this, you know? Because the thought that I'd have is because I think A, them starting with um, Animal Crossing and Mario Kart is obviously like the best decision. Mm-hmm. I could see them using 
uh, like Dread DLC, for example, as a test case of like these first two games are ones that'll bring people to the expansion pass. And mm. then assuming the most people have the expansion pass be able to bring people to the game. Yeah. I, mm. And I don't know, you know, like that, but that would be a good test case for it because like, you know, in general, the sales of dread for a Metro game are great for a mm-hmm. Nintendo first party game are on acceptable. the lower end. Yeah. Acceptable. <laughs> yeah. But it's definitely like within the margin of like Mario Kart to, I don't know. What's a bad one? Nintendo uh, Labo. Fire <laughs> <and blue. laughs> yeah, something, you know, it's on the lower side of that for sure. So that would be a, a good test case of like, would people buy it more because they have access to the DLC if they want it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know that they, that that many people would, but you know, maybe good press. In any case, there you go. We'll see. Uh, speaking of Nintendo Switch Online, they yeah. added two more games. They added Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings. And people were like, hey, Mother 3, is he going to say Mother 3? He didn't say Mother 3. <laughs> he didn't say Mother They, re- I mean, I'm I'm of two minds. I'm glad that they're talking they didn't about these games as much as they are. Either. Either. <laughs> <laughs> in, in this, in this little true. Smash Brothers segment. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Like, it's... Um, it's awesome that they're that they're doing this and bringing attention to the games and stuff. And especially if one day they do decide to do, or if they're planning on later announcing more mother things or something like that, then it totally makes sense for them to do this. I, they definitely hyped it up more than, than it feels like it should have been for, you know, an NES and SNES. I don't necessarily, I don't know about that. Or on the flip side, it shows how much of an event they could make even mother more three. games yeah. if they wanted to and mother three especially yeah um um yeah. i think that like there's there will uh we'll touch on <laughs> this topic in a little bit yeah um but there's so much about this game specifically that people have this like pseudo insider knowledge mm-hmm. on where they're like <laughs> Shigas- uh, Shigasato Itoi just wants to be done with this forever. He's yeah, he made right. the games that he wants to make and that's why Nintendo's never going to make another one because mm-hmm. Shigasato Itoi does not want to make another one or mm-hmm. he doesn't want to do blah, blah, blah. And then the, uh, there's also the other side of that same token that also mm-hmm. pretends that they know everything about the game development behind this video game that are like, it's Nintendo's fault. Etoy's been wanting to do it for forever, but Nintendo keeps telling him, no, man, he wants to put the game out, but they say uh-huh. no, you know? <laughs> and it's <laughs> yeah. like, I, I don't know what the actual answer to that is. I don't <laughs> particularly care. All I know is that every time something like this happens, it just it makes me be like, I hope this is the time where people decide that they should <laughs> because like this is yeah. the type of thing that people would be like this isn't going either it's definitely going to happen or it's definitely not going to happen you know mm-hmm. yeah and staking that claim is always dumb from the people that are on the outside you know agreed yeah I don't know there it is I'm a oh to answer your question from way earlier if I've played it or not I played mm-hmm. the first two maybe and a half towns or so worth of um of earthbound on the snes classic Mm. and as we all know playing games on the snes classic is not particularly convenient Mm -hmm. so i that's as much as i've played of it um so yeah now's a good opportunity to get back i completely forgot that that was even on there (laughs) the reason (laughs) why i asked that was because it was like well you didn't really like you didn't have wii u um you have a 3ds but you don't touch your 3ds um, or is it a 2DS that you have? I don't remember which one you have. Uh, 2DS, yeah. 2DS. Although I saw somebody retweeted a Wario 64 post that Nintendo had refurbished 2DS XLs on mm. uh, up, and I saw it four hours later, and they were all gone. And I was like, man, I would not mind buying one of those now because they're like just just in general, 3DSs are like good 3DSs are so expensive now. Mm-hmm. And that's sad. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'm gonna look it up. Um, right but that's why I asked that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was just like, but I forgot that the SNES Classic even had that game. Mm-hmm. Man, a used new 2DS XL is. I mean, no wonder they're all getting taken up on Nintendo's thing because scalpers, I guess, or whatever. Um, is to, like two hundred dollars on eBay for a bunch of them. That's crazy. Because that's the um, price of the new 3DS XL. Or yeah. that's what it was when it launched. <laughs> yep. Man, I'm not going to pay that much. for. Yeah, no, that's crazy. 
in any case yeah. i'd spend like 80 bucks max on a 3ds <laughs> yeah so yeah earthbound good stuff cool. um and then we got some sizzle reel things uh zombie army 4 i don't care at all about that uh get some fuma then i saw some more um gameplay for it and it looks i mean it looks pretty cool um it's kind of hard to it's a little bit messy, like the visual language of it oftentimes, which like any still shot, I guess, is one of those things where it's like it makes sense with, you know, it looks like a Japanese piece of art and stuff. But mm. it also is a bit hard to tell what's going on sometimes. But maybe once you play it, that's not the case. I don't know. But it's Metroidvania, so, you know. Yeah, I, I don't care. Why does this thing look like a sperm is my question. <laughs> <laughs> Why shouldn't it? That's the answer. Sure. It could, I mean, why not? Maybe that's like a metaphor. <laughs> Maybe that was um, so there you go. There's that one. I don't know if you have exists. any thoughts. No, yep. I don't. I it exists. Yep. I have no thoughts on the next one. I thought this game already came out. I'm still confused. <laughs> like, I thought this game has been out for forever. Oh no, not this one. I'm talking about the Demon Slayer game. I don't know what this game is um oh that's voice of cards the oh this is from the japanese direct interesting mm -hmm. um it's the i think the voice of card sequel i didn't know there was, was a sequel there. i thought the other game just came out it just came out and they already announced that they're that they've got a sequel coming which is pretty neat honestly that they can just do that um uh so. this one's chocobo racing right <laughs> uh-huh alex said good news for alec <laughs> true uh i have no idea what this is yep Okay, Demon Slayer's towards the end. But yeah, D Demon Slayer, I thought that game was out already because I know Lee's playing it. Lee likes that game or liked it at one point or another. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, I guess the... Alex said Switch version's delayed. So uh, I had no idea. Right. I didn't even know that. There we go. Well, there's a the Switch version. All right. Next up, care. Lego Brawl. I've, I've it's... It. I think we saw this in a... In a in a treehouse at some point or something like that it's an apple arcade thing i had no idea or oh or maybe that's what it was i saw it when i was um with my my godson was playing it on um, like an ipad or something on apple tv um, i was like how do i know this and i think that's what it was <laughs> i think he was playing it on an apple tv on apple arcade a while back well there cool. it is nice all right two point campus that. cool yeah, whatever. I'm not uh, playing that. All right. The last two things. <laughs> Broom. Mario Kart. Um, yeah. This is something that we've talked about for a long time of this happening. Because Nintendo said a long time ago that they were going to do something like this. <laughs> where they're which, like which part do something like this? Like, like DLC, where they yeah. were they were talking about their like their their current uh lineup of like evergreen titles and how they plan to mm -hmm. yeah. um you know like capitalize on those through dlc and mm -hmm. one of the games that they brought up was mario kart mm -hmm. as an example for what they could potentially do yeah um around that time that like materialized into being breath of the wild link and people were like i guess this is what they meant <laughs> but <laughs> now we know it pro it's probably not what they meant <laughs> yeah um at how much courses is in the current game isn't it like around this number it's like 40 it's, courses it's something? more than that but um i think total this brings us up to 96 I okay so there's wrong. like there's like 90 or something like that um okay no it's oh there must be 48 as well i guess hang on how many courses in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Because if this doubles it, that is it literally insane. doubles it. That yep. is insane. I saw so many people being like, this shouldn't cost twenty five. Oh no, no, no. Hang on. I read the oh, I think DLC. that's about right. I it was I feel insane. like it's around that number. It's around that for sure. Yeah. For for the original game. Uh yeah, it's I, I've also seen people yeah. saying the same thing. Um yeah, the whole kinda... thing that they're saying is like it's an eight-year-old game, and that right. is like general gamer thing for like that's stupid, <laughs> that's dumb. Right. That is this is not produce, <laughs> it does not <laughs> lose value with time. It just yeah. doesn't. <laughs> like, 
I, I know people want it to, you know, a lot, <laughs> of, a lot of like developers uh, lead people to believe that because like two years in the horizon, zero dawn's life, you could get it for $10 new. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's just not how it works. Like, yeah. I mean, the other arguments until I've seen don't. is like, you know, or folks being like, tell me how this is better than Mario Kart nine. And I'm like, I don't know that that's, that's the question for one thing it's cheaper yeah. and it's more stuff and i'm already i'm getting it for free basically essentially um yeah. but also like i'm not saying it's necessarily better but it's it's, it's definitely better than not getting a mario a new mario kart thing See, until, the thing is like <laughs> that that argument assumes that they're always going to do what they think makes yes. us the absolute happiest regardless <laughs> of what the ROI on that is. Yes. The, the smarter business decisions that will make people happy. hundred percent is cool. Yeah, is to for support sure. the game that everybody already owns already until people stop buying it. Mario Kart eight deluxe sold 6 million copies last year. Yeah. Six. That's more than most video games released last year. Yeah. If I sold 6 million copies of the thing that I freaking made eight years ago, and I can make more money off of that thing by just Mm -hmm. expanding that thing, I'm expanding that thing. I mean, or, you know, even the positive spin on it, and you can like make that many more fans of that thing. Because also the 6 million people that just bought Mario Kart 8 Deluxe last holiday, last year, whatever, I don't think they wouldn't be particularly thrilled comparatively to this about they Mario Kart 9 new, coming out. Yeah, like, yeah, another yeah. new game coming out right. when they just bought the, the thing. Yeah, we're like, in the minority in some think, regards. I don't even think that, that that's like a negative spin of like, they have yeah. this super successful thing that people are still actively playing. Cause it's not like people buy this game and people that already own this yeah. game from before don't play this game, you know? Yeah. Like there's definitely people like me that bought it on Wii U and they're like, okay, whatever. Like, I don't really care <laughs> about this game, yeah. but like, I get that it's more than just me, you know, <laughs> like yeah. people still play this game. Even people that had it on Wii U, like people <laughs> like playing Mario Kart. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it definitely, ah, man, it's just, it's just a smart play altogether because now yeah. they, they continue a, this is the smash bros thing where mm-hmm. like, this is smash DLC fighters without the contention, you know, like people could be like, uh, I really I, want while we just pinball. Know if that's true. I, I mean, to the same degree, there won't be. Yeah, there definitely won't yeah. be as much contention yeah. now because I think there's less investment <laughs> in Mario Kart characters. Less investment yeah. in the tracks, and there you get eight tracks per wave. So, like, mm-hmm. you know, there's a decent chance you kind of spread that, that across you want is coming out. Right. There's only been so many. You know? Uh huh. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's cool, and it's also like. It's dope because like it's something that we knew was going to happen <laughs> with, the, with the expansion pass. So and that was, was the like, thing. Like as soon as they showed Mario Kart, it, at some point that as they were showing this, and it was obvious that it was like more DLC is coming. I was like, oh, this is coming to the expansion. Be- mm-hmm. I mean, partly because I was primed for like something is coming to the expansion pass. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to see what it is. Expansion pack. Sorry. Um, mm-hmm. And this is that. And that was a fun little like, ha, 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 you guys did the thing, and, the thing. and all that. So. True. But that said, like, I'm curious even what more by this, you know, it was what, October when mm-hmm. the expansion pack came out. And yep. I was like, a year from now, how valuable will people feel like the expansion pack is? And this is going to be a huge yeah, part This that, is, yeah, like. this is a, a major one, I think. Yeah. Especially because it keeps coming out. Like, there's anticipation even within the, because that originally that was not super the case with the expansion yeah like, yeah we know there's more n64 games coming mm. um they we didn't even know if there were more um the genesis games coming and we didn't know if there they was more dlc was coming more genesis game did they oh, okay yeah. for some reason i i thought we just we didn't, didn't know, know for if the only thing that we didn't know for a fact was that there was going to be more dlc dlc added. coming yeah but that was like something that we just always assumed from the mm-hmm. jump that it was like there's gonna there's gonna be more yeah for sure so Good stuff. Yeah. Um, I guess part of the controversy here too is that like the courses look all like Mario Kart Tour E and stuff. And I'm just gonna wait till it comes out and see if I care while I'm playing. I don't even them. know what that means. What does that even mean? It's it's so just like they look more like cartoony and stuff, like the trees look more plasticky instead of like 
foliage and stuff. Whereas in, if you, I mean, yeah, if you look at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the trees for the most part are more like they got some leaves on them instead of just being like a, you know, cartoon tree sort of a thing. Um, but I, I truly personally I, don't care. Looking at this trailer, <laughs> this, that's, that's dumb and overblown. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Because but like I'm not saying this, that they're not wrong about the yeah. comparison that it looks no, different. I'm, I'm for sure. I'm not but I'm I not agree. saying it's that to you. I'm saying that to that yes. <laughs> where right. it's Agreed. like there are definitely several levels in Mar since launch, since the Wii U mm -hmm. version, pre-DLC, um, that had trees that look like that. And I'm I don't I'm I'm not talking about video game trees. <laughs> I'm over it. Next thing. We, yeah. we got anything else to say about uh, Mario Kart? Yeah, I'm excited. To, I'm excited for it. It'll be good. Same. I, this will be the first time that I played this video game uh, since it came out on the <laughs> on the on the Switch for yeah. that like first mm -hmm. two three months or whatever. So that'll be neat. Yep. And I'll probably stream it a few times. Indeed. Uh, but the final game. Xenoblade Chornicles. That's a fact. <laughs> Chornicles. Chornicles. This game. It was another one of those that where I first saw this and I was like, I knew it was Xenoblade from here, mm -hmm. yeah, but I was yeah, like, sure. what, which Xenoblade? Uh -huh. Like, is this like an X thing? Mm -hmm. Um, because I know I dropped that game pretty early, so I was like, I don't know, maybe <laughs> I didn't get to this part of the lady playing the flute. And then, and then the freaking like people with these like, like LED swords they came mm -hmm. out, and then I was like, okay, yeah, this is this is Xenoblade. <laughs> for sure but uh -huh. what xenoblade again is this xenoblade chronicles x2 is this xenoblade chronicles 3 blah blah mm -hmm. blah 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 i mean i'm sure for me the rumors played into it but i was i would have been surprised if it wasn't three like from the get-go i was like oh it's xenoblade oh it's probably xenoblade chronicles 3 um but that said i think it's also just because like there were we've known that this game is going to be announced at some mm. point there um, was but but that's the thing though there was a lot of stuff in the rumor mill about the potential of x also oh, coming i guess i hadn't even paid attention switch. to that part um because they were talking about x since around before the uh -huh. switch even came out x was uh like mentioned as one of the like mario maker uh -huh. smash brothers like those initial switch games to come out yeah. on this platform but that materialized as Xenoblade Chronicles 2 rather mm -hmm. than it being X. Um, yeah. So whenever Xenoblade I comes up, that's always like a thing of like, oh, you want to do it now? Yeah. Alex said, um, Xenoblade, now with more realistically proportioned women and maybe better voice acting. Okay, here's the thing. Like, uh, that was not an insignificant dislike of mine from the first mm -hmm, one mm -hmm. was the, man, it was you just mean like- Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Sorry, yes. Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles, Chronicles 2. 1, I don't think. Yeah, it was barely like, even anime. And like, it's, yeah, it was totally fine on that front. But man, like mm -hmm. there were some times where I was like, I'm just playing this game. I really hope Ashley doesn't just walk in the room as I'm playing this. Cause it's just awkward. Like I was Yeah, like, and two, it was, it was just like, like you got verbs all over the place, you know, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was a lot. Um, So I'm very glad to see that that's being scaled back down in a literal sense. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> So, but it's that's wild because it. they went from it was Xenoblade Chronicles, and I, uh -huh. I don't think there was really any discussion no. around that. And then yeah. Xenoblade Chronicles um, X, people mm -hmm. were talking about in the I think it's just in the Japanese version, it might be in the American version. I don't know. Uh -huh. I didn't make a female character, so I have no idea. <laughs> um, there's a boob slider in the Japanese version of the video game and oh, then no. there's xenoblade chronicles 2 where it's just like everybody has a maximized boob slider yes, in this video right game. <laughs> there's one character especially like i remember seeing somebody posting about it and i was like oh but this is like a fan like a fake fan exaggeration one i was like oh that's it's like, like no that's like, a real character <laughs> it was giving like the you know the one in the game versus some other one mm. and as I thought it was backwards. I thought they were like, and look at it with bigger boobs. And <laughs> that was not the case. So yeah, that was, man. I Overall, I liked Xenoblade Chronicles 2 better than I did Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, I just really liked it. But that was one of the things I was just like, oh, man, please change this in the future. <laughs> and they did. And I'm very glad about that. The voice acting bit, I heard recently, I don't remember where I heard this, um, maybe some other people talking about Xenoblade Chronicles 3, but that the voice acting when they did it in Xenoblade Chronicles uh, 2, they recorded it all in chronological order. I think it was the Nintendo Life that was talking about this. Um, they recorded it all in chronological order. So the voice acting really does get better 
as the game progresses like at the beginning it's kind of stiff and awkward and then mm. by the end it's like just full force and great um so yeah hopefully this is on the better side of that but i didn't have much of a problem with it honestly other than some of the like <laughs> meme bits from um so yeah, Blade chronicles 2 with like the nopon guy who's like meh, 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 or whatever <laughs> <laughs> which is very silly so yeah game looks good though like game looks mm. good yeah i have no i i rarely have opinions on voice acting stuff because i think that it's like a lot of people's voice acting complaints is like the voice actor reminded me that the game i'm playing is ridiculous <laughs> like <laughs> i was about to say another one but <laughs> but uh-huh. but it's like yeah this is ridiculous <laughs> like it's, it will always be crazy that the anime man is screaming on the screen and his hair is changing color and it's longer now. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, but yeah, no, I feel that game cool. I'll probably uh, get it. I'll try it for a little bit and never finish it. That's, <laughs> that's been my trend with the other Xenoblade Chronicles games. But I will say, I it's a random trajectory. Because I put like 40 hours in the first Xenoblade Chronicles, and mm-hmm. then I put the 30 hours infamously into X because yeah. I wanted the mech and it freaking controlled like garbage. And I was like, I did all this for that. And then <laughs> uh, two, I played for like 18 hours. And mm-hmm. I would have played more, but I stopped playing it. So then I didn't know how to play it anymore or where to go. So I was like, well, I That's... don't, I don't want to play yeah. this anymore. Um, so we'll see. We'll see where this game lands <laughs> honestly yeah it's this is one of the rare like kind of jrpgs in that like it's not turn-based but it also like has some turn-based ish elements or whatever where that it's an like, rpg it's like it, it is yeah, oh for action. sure it's an rpg there, there's yeah. always like the the like with action rpgs there's a slider as like is it yeah. more action or is it more rpg this is slightly more rpg <laughs> yeah because the only like real like action parts of it is like positional mm-hmm right yeah and so that's the with this game remembering those things i feel like it's so much more mechanics driven to where like if you for if you drop off the game coming back to it's harder whereas with a lot of other like turn-based rpgs you, you just remember like that's the one with bigger numbers uh, you know and you just do see, it to see but that's the thing for me no it was just the rpg aspect of like where do i yeah, go yeah, now yeah. And that's why. and that I was gonna that say is, that is yeah, definitely that is the part that turned me off of this video game. I never yeah. really lost uh sight of like how to play the game because mm-hmm. Smash Brothers, it's yeah. like oh, uh, Shulk has backslash and that does more damage if you attack from the side. Also, and, you're uh, saying that you played 18 more. hours, probably. I think I know exactly where you would have been based mm. on you saying those things because it's. A, was it the like um where you're inside of one and it's like big and like kind of purpley and mm. because it is hard to find where to go in that area yeah. in general like even as i didn't stop playing it and also had a hard time finding things luckily yeah. like i was and enjoying i mean this in fairness that stuff. i i feel like it was probably like mostly the fact that other another thing came out but the second mm-hmm. that i came out to a point where it's like this is not i can't i don't <laughs> know where to go and the game wants me to bump my head against the wall until i have the eureka moment of like oh this is the path and yeah. that is that doesn't have the effect on me that it, it has on a lot of rpg fans yeah because i know a lot of rpg fans find value in that it's mm-hmm. like man i had the, i had the light bulb moment and i felt i felt <laughs> smart because i figured it out for me yeah. it's like you i'm feeling i'm less feeling like i'm dumb and i'm feeling mm-hmm. like the people that design this video game are dumb mm-hmm. and that is not a good feeling <laughs> where it's <laughs> like you the, your job is to like help me come to the conclusions that i come to but when your game is designed intentionally to make me play a guessing game that's stupid mm-hmm. and i'm out <laughs> so like if i want if i wanted to play the freaking memory card game where i'm flipping it over and seeing what matches i would just play that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know what you mean it's mm-hmm. uh yeah getting a lot i mean that was kind of at some point i stopped playing golf story and then came back and was like i have no idea what's going on in this and luckily that's like a small game. yeah and like there was way, something way where more. it was like i was missing a oh actually worse uh, worse example of that was i was playing um twilight the first time i played twilight princess mm. back in like 2016 ashley got it for me for christmas i played up to a certain amount and then stopped and then came back and I was like, oh no, I'm it was like several months later. I was like, I've, 
am missing some item or like, I can't do this thing because I don't have just the, like this one item that I need to do to do this, whatever. Um, and so I ended up restarting the game and it was like four hours in. So it wasn't that far, but I, it was like a nuisance to do that for sure. Especially mm. cause it has a notoriously long, it, it, like Boy. starting sequence and stuff. Yep. And then I realized that I wasn't missing the item. I just didn't know what button was <laughs> the menu. Oh my God. And that was it. It was like, right. It would have been right there the whole time. And I would have been able to keep going from there, but I, I didn't know a button was as many. So, you know, sometimes. Couldn't you have just started another file? Like you deleted your old save file. Why? That is a grand question. <laughs> <laughs> I could not tell you. Yeah. It was, it was very silly. So there you go. So you're like, not that, that would have helped at all. Cause you would have still came to the same point and yeah. still wasted the same amount of time. But yeah. But at least then I could have continued from the first one instead of, and yep. honestly, maybe I did that in retro. I don't know. Actually, if that feels almost familiar. So maybe we'll say I did that and I'm a little bit less dumb, but um, <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's given a lot of credit. <laughs> uh, but that's Xenoblade. I don't know. Yep. Do you have anything else to say about that? I don't. I'm curious what I, <laughs> I played Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Xenoblade Chronicles. And I don't really understand the story that well and how they intersect and so I need to like rewatch a video or something on that. But in any case, this one does something to propel both of those stories at some point. Um, so there's some speculation already on what that is. I know based on like Isn't the, two characters, the, the, the like future connected thing supposed to like better bridge that stuff or something. That's a maybe sure didn't did play you, it. So did you, I, thought I didn't play did future play connected. <laughs> no, no, no. I played. I played the game and then I didn't play Future Connected. Uh, I also have Torna, but I haven't played Torna, even though I hear that that's like so far the best of the Xenoblade games, properties, mm. whatever things. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. But I'm probably yeah, not going to play I'll any probably of that by the time for this comes 25 out. hours and then never touch again. <laughs> TBD. Yeah. Um, I mean, I could, if I get it, I, you could always play it on my account. Um, oh, that's true. Something like that. So, that's the direct. That's um, it. All in all, I think it was a good direct, but it's like a good direct in the sense that like for me, like personally, a direct is like, I don't, I don't really do the whole like gauge of like, this is the best direct ever, blah, blah, blah. Either it's good or it didn't have anything personally that yeah. I want. Um, this direct is in the good camp because there are yeah. things in the direct that I want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, as far as like critically and looking at it as a critic, I think this is a very good direct because it has a lot of stuff that I know very distinct, pretty large audiences mm -hmm. wanted for a long time. Yeah. Entity. So it yeah. is interesting, just as we've been talking about it, how many eh, like nitpicks, I guess is the best word, but like little things about a lot of these things were um, kind of came up. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, just just interesting that like because yeah, I generally I really liked this direct. A lot of it was like trying to um or was the knowing like oh nice i know people that were really hoping for klonoa and they got klonoa you know that sort of mm -hmm. a thing um whereas if i didn't know that i just would be like all right that's klonoa i guess um but yeah i, I thought it was good and i'm it, the, I, the only game that came out of this that not the only game but the main game that came out of this that i'm just like just excited for no questions asked whatever is kirby just same yeah straight up looks That's where i'm at too there's yeah. uh, i mean there's there's like splatoon is also in that camp for me but i yeah like, yeah i do have questions of like okay but what's the other stuff mm -hmm. yeah i mean because even there's other games where i don't have questions about i guess the game itself in terms of like is it gonna be a good game it's more like m like uh super mario strikers and mm. um xenoblade chronicles 3 are like both games that I could also easily just not play. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't yep. need to play them. Kirby's the only one I'm like, I'm going to play that. Mm -hmm. um, but but yeah, lots of great games shown off. So I'm here for it. Good direct. Yeah. And you know what? The whole thing, it was all called like uh, true. ahead of time by That's the true. industry insider, Waddle D knows. That's a fact. This man, yeah. Waddle D knows. He is a tenured source in the industry. <laughs> he has been working with Nintendo for an indiscriminate amount of time. Uh huh. Uh, um, <laughs> go for it. Actually, no. Wild D knows is John. Oh, right. Tricks. <laughs> now tricks from Good stuff. Vibes Gaming. 
That's true. Yeah. He's not a Nintendo life. He's not a game that's playing. He's a good vibes game. Uh, yeah. And he, I mean, he always does good stuff, but he's doing some, some pretty cool stuff <laughs> over there now. Um, I didn't, I, I, I need to watch like the episode where like he came back because I, I feel like he probably too, yeah. explained like what his contribution mm. is going because like his videos that he's done are distinctly different from the videos that they generally do. Right. Like, yes. They generally do like, more podcasty sort of situation mm -hmm. or he, like analysis videos yeah. which i mean that's like derek especially that's like his bread and butter is those mm -hmm. kinds of things whereas the like more video essay reflection kinds of stuff is more what john's always been good at right i okay. mean and other things as well but um but yeah i'd be interested to find out about that too maybe it was to so my guess is from not knowing are a that like obviously they're growing and stuff and it's going well but like there is a certain like just something behind John and the things that he does that are like just good for channels in general. I think um, those types of videos, like, I mean, we've talked about this um, and I don't know if I've like put like exact method to the madness um, in this mm -hmm. way, but there are videos where there, there's this, the matter of fact, yes, we have uh, behind <laughs> the scenes, we have had this exact conversation yeah. where there are certain videos that the purpose of them is to grow. Like yeah. this video is going to get a lot more eyeballs than mm -hmm. our typical videos would. Whereas most of your typical videos are to nurture the audience mm -hmm. that you got from those, this video is to grow type of yeah. videos. I feel mm -hmm. like John is very good at this video is to grow sorts yeah. of videos. Yeah. Um, and this is another one of those things. Cause it's like, it's something that is like very uh, like um, clickable both yeah the video itself, but also from outlets reporting on the concept of the video or what happened in the video. YouTuber tricks outlets into thinking <laughs> that, you know, like that's yeah. very marketable. Yeah. Um, and from what I saw, he did a couple, I saw a couple of those on the feed already that I was like, oh, that is a very good idea. <laughs> Um, and this is just another one of those things. Um, this is the topic itself is something that we talk about a lot here about people like, exaggerating about the industry insider mm -hmm. thing and like how uh, hard it is to know what's going to happen next or even how like random quote unquote Nintendo is when really like you can like you can clock Nintendo pretty easily especially <laughs> when they're successful where it's like mm -hmm. oh well they did this this team's working on this or this team worked mm -hmm. on this and that did that so they're going to do this next yeah especially if you throw tons yeah. of stuff at the wall which was yeah so that was the first interaction I had with this was um uh lower legend of mm -hmm. the show um was like oh here's potentially a new insider that seems to have gotten a bunch of stuff right and i was like yeah and then i looked at it and i was like hmm it does seem a little bit suspicious because it's all it's individual tweets mm -hmm. that all have stuff and they could easily have just tweeted out a ton of stuff and deleted things because we've yep. seen exactly that happen before yep. like two years ago mm -hmm. um, so i was like that and he was like ah oh, totally forgot that people do that yep no that's that probably is what it is and we're like i don't know we'll find out you know maybe they shoot some more good stuff in the future and we find out from there um and then yeah lo and behold the next day uh he, you, i didn't watch the full video yet i watched some mm -hmm. of it but he mentioned at some point towards the beginning that he was gonna keep it going a little bit longer and then outlets started reporting on it it's like here's an industry insider yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was like shut that down yeah. before it gets out of control yep uh but yeah i thought that was for sure interesting very good video john yeah. does good stuff check check good vibes gaming out follow john on twitter very good yep indeed so yeah there we go um all right a couple more just like random news bits and then some q a and that'll that'll be the show i guess um mm -hmm. microsoft wants call of duty on switch question mark um i microsoft, mostly just read man. the headline when it happens and so i haven't actually read the article all that much <laughs> um but basic gist seems like i mean kind of that that like microsoft wants uh, call of duty on switch yeah there you go there uh, it is. what do you think there i mean microsoft is making all the right decisions they are they uh, i say it a lot <laughs> microsoft mm -hmm. is currently the most pro-consumer gaming company period bar none it's not yeah. even close to close like all the stuff that they're doing to like make gaming super accessible in every facet of the word mm -hmm. um is 
very impressive and like um you know like uh, I, I can't the, the the word is escaping me admirable <laughs> of uh -huh, them yeah. to do um and this is just another example of that because there's no reason why call of duty couldn't be on switch before yeah and here's the other thing too is like if if the concern is well but it'll look worse than it does on other consoles or something like that or like it won't run as well or blah blah whatever um one obvious solution for that is just do the monster hunter rise thing of like have the switch have its own platform call of duty game if you want that's like this is the switch version of that mm. that isn't i mean in some ways it's competing with the but, other ones but it's also like just just another call of duty in the mm -hmm. same way that people still play monster hunter world and monster hunter rise and like right. it's just you know a game that's tailor-made specifically for the switch so but even more than that present. and i think that this is a very microsoft way of approaching it make the the, the switch version of call of duty yeah because yes. most people right that exactly own the platform are not like i went the prettiest game of all time yeah <laughs> i want this game to to blow me away i wanted it i wanted to be a technical marvel i wanted to look like my three thousand dollar gaming computer yeah <laughs> nobody with a brain is buying a, a switch with that in mind but they mm -hmm. they might want i know people specifically <laughs> that i would call them out <laughs> that have been like man i want i want i want switch call of duty i want it so bad mm -hmm. i want switch call of duty and here it is or here yep. it may be coming right uh, according to them i know. mean people play call of duty on mobile like you yeah. know it's <laughs> i don't know I think still a lot of people. I don't. I don't keep up with that to know. I mean, but, it's definitely more than gamers would expect. <laughs> yeah, right. And I, I've definitely had at least a couple of people ask, like, "Are there any good shooters on Switch?" And I, obviously, I can, you know, give them a list of some of the good ones. But like, when they're asking that, if they specifically mean like Call of Duty, yeah, are there the industry standard shooters on Switch? Right. Is there's the, the list is a lot smaller for mm -hmm. sure, and like most of them are a shooter but with a twist like yeah the, the, the only like uh thing that checks both of those boxes will probably be doom yeah and even then it's and like it's not really multiplayer right. and stuff yeah. you know like if that's what you're going for is like just easy drop in drop out multiplayer stuff that's not Fortnite, that's not you know whatever um like mm -hmm. overwatch or something which again is still just like more different than there's then, there's not yeah. a whole lot of like industry standard good options first for person that. uh like halo like yeah. shooters. <laughs> so yeah i mean it's it's a smart thing to do for sure and they could go about it a couple of different good ways either you know have it be a pared down pared down version of exactly the same call of duty and have those release every year because like they've got the money to do it for sure mm. um and the teams they have so many people that so work many in these people. videos and they're currently used very poorly there's no reason why yeah. a game like call of duty in terms of like the core mm -hmm. of it what the game is mm -hmm. needs that many people working on that kind of game it is the game honestly, is super bloated <laughs> thinking back to like I mean, thinking about activision and how the whole like bobby kodak makes 250 million whatever you yep. know thinking about that amount of money that's not going to be there anymore for him um and like not firing 800 employees a year just to make sure that like the shareholders get that much extra little money or, mm -hmm. or not little money but like you know to make sure they get more money those kinds of things like if if it's just handled better then like a lot of good things could happen um, right not that and that and that's not even to say anything like, of like the people that are like contractors from from the jump right yeah where they're right. like a thousand people worked on call of duty that doesn't mean a thousand people were activision employees that means mm -hmm. that maybe, maybe 500 of them are <laughs> and then you know they they contracted 500 more people to, to work on the game and yeah. it's like i don't i don't understand how like a game like that which the answer is like visuals a lot of the time yeah right um why a game like that takes a thousand people but breath of the wild is like what 300 or something like <laughs> yeah um like i i don't know it's kind of yeah. that's that's kind of crazy it seems like they're not managing their their uh their resources very well mm -hmm. um so hopefully yep. that's another change that will also happen here is that there's better resource management because that's another thing that people bring up right where they're like oh the switch uh the call of duty is like 300 gigabytes i can't put a 300 gigabyte game <laughs> on my switch and it's like Call of Duty doesn't need to be 300 gigabytes to be Call yeah. of Duty. It doesn't. Right. 
because it has been Call of Duty for 20 years prior to it becoming <laughs> a hundred, a, even 100 gigabyte video game. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, especially if we talk about like, you know, are the mechanics things that can be played in multiple places or whatever? Like I, I, I haven't played a lot of Call of Duty, but I don't know that the mechanics themselves have changed much at all like obviously you can ride around in some stuff now or something like that i don't know but um okay yeah sure there's basically yeah mechanically it's it's more or less you know the same game with like yeah, new the, stories the, the, and the, new the modes biggest and... advancement that they made is they made it fortnite now yeah and fortnite's right, exactly. on the switch so yeah. <laughs> hey look they they can do it they prove they prove they can do it it's yeah. crazy <laughs> they can also i mean just like honestly outsource it to panic button if you want like <laughs> you know, that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. There's, there's other people that would be happy to do that. Um, all it takes is just deciding to do it. And Microsoft did that. So yep. yeah, I think the thing, you know, like we've said a couple of times, uh, cause people were talking about like call of duty still going to be on Sony platforms or whatever is, um, and that like people were saying like that's the stupidest thing microsoft could ever do you don't but spend whole, 70 like, billion dollars on making it a multiplayer right. <laughs> like, like exclusives are the whole thing that you need or whatever and it's just like that's a that's not really true anymore in the same way um and especially if people are mostly playing multi-plat games anyway like that's i don't know it's besides the point a little bit but basically it's like the whole microsoft office thing like we've talked about a bunch of times where it's like it's on mac does that yeah. mean people are going to not like that's the reason they're going to get a mac or not get a mac kind of yeah thing, i was going know? to buy a pc but you know they and put, microsoft they makes put that microsoft, money anyway <laughs> they put microsoft office on on pc so i'm going to buy that instead yeah i was this close to buying a mac for <laughs> but you know yeah. i mean i was this close to buying a pc but they put it yeah. on mac so i'm going to buy a mac instead like i yeah. i don't know anybody that like actually <laughs> that like that was the deciding factor uh-huh um, and I think that that's probably where Microsoft came to that conclusion as well, where it's like, are people really going to buy a PC just for office? Are they going to like suck it up and just use pages if they want to get a Mac? <laughs> you know, yeah, right. like, <laughs> if either you want a Windows computer or you want a, P or, or you want a Mac. And that's the same thing here where it's mm -hmm. like, either you want a PlayStation or you want an Xbox. Mm -hmm. um, and then the deciding factor at this point, the because if Xbox is like, man, our our exclusives aren't yet the thing that are going to bring people here. Like it's Game Pass at this point. Yeah. And so at that point, like that's that's their thing. And even Game Pass is going to go other places. So they just they just don't care that much about you yeah. buying their box specifically. The, the, the box, I think, is way more about their image than it yes. is about their bottom line directly. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it looks way better for them to be like, hey, man. You can get that super like powerful gaming PC, or you can get a Series X that's going to give you just about the same experience for way less money. Or yep. you can get the Series S, which is going to give you a similar experience to the X, but a little bit worse, but for even less money. Mm -hmm. Or you could play it on the Nintendo Switch, something you probably already have. You know, like it, it's yeah. less about like, oh, you want that, we want that mm -hmm. profit margin. You know, right. we want that, we want that 50, 50 bucks on every console that we can sell. Or potentially we want to lose $200 on yeah, every console. Right. They don't care about that. They want the yeah. end result of like, well, at the end of the day, this is a razor blade model we're making money on the blades let's mm -hmm. just sell the blades yeah. <laughs> let's let everybody else worry about the razor you know mm -hmm. it's yeah and even though they don't care about their box selling particularly well i mean they do but you know yes. whatever it is it sold better than the switch in the u.s in um in january 2022 so whoa it's crazy um, dude it's crazy. yeah no but long story short um for the npd for january uh, which is north american sales um, or the U.S. sales, yep. Legends Arceus is number one, even though it was on store shelves for all of three days and was is physical only. So yep. good job, Arceus, yep. you're doing it. And um, per Matt Piscatella, he's like basically who um, mentioned all this stuff in the first place. Obviously, mm -hmm. he was like at this point, it's just like who has the most consoles in stock. Yeah, and yeah. So <laughs> there you go. That's it. And that's like it's a three way thing on that same exact. All you know, of them are like, selling everything that they can make. And that's, yeah. I mean, that's something that we brought up coming yeah. into this again of like, uh, when everybody's like, oh, it's next gen going to kill Switch. It's like, no, nah, I think that like whoever, like it's entirely dependent on who can have stock because yeah. everybody wants 
all three of these platforms. <laughs> like, yep. I don't mean everybody individually wants all three of the consoles, right. but all three of them have a there is bigger supply audience more than, than the they demand. Can, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's yeah. good. So good job, everybody. You did it. W. It'll be it. Sorry, go ahead. I, I just said W. Gaming is winning. W, yeah. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see at whatever point supply maybe levels out down the road. I mean, honestly, even at that point, the landscape is going to be pretty different from what it is now because it's not going to be for quite a while. Um, and even once, my guess is even once it's leveled out for a month or two, it's still not going to fully be leveled out because scalpers are still going to drive the demand up higher than it really should be. Mm -hmm. So it'll take even a little bit longer for it to like legitimately level out. Mm -hmm. But then at that point, what are we looking at? Like who's actually um selling the most and even then it doesn't really matter so yeah, it doesn't really matter. you know it's fine. i think i think the only <laughs> the only way that we see that this is like uh uh like these are just bloated sales and they don't really mean anything because they're mm -hmm. mostly people that are buying it from scalpers is if you look at yeah. software sales um mm -hmm. for microsoft that doesn't really matter that much because gate pass you know yeah right. um for nintendo we know that that like people are buying the video games because yeah, Arceus right. is like the fastest selling Pokemon game right now. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't know too many scalpers that are buying up. I mean, there's def there's definitely people that are trying, but mm -hmm. I don't know too many scalpers that their business model is like, we are going to buy every physical copy of Arceus and people are going to feel forced to go to us, you know, because yeah. it's a very small, very small portion of the gaming audience that's like, I have, I absolutely have to have the physical copy, you know, it's like, yeah. nah, I just want the game. If I can't buy it in <laughs> stores, I'm just going to download it. It doesn't matter, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. um, but I could, I could see there being some sort of um inflated numbers with playstation yeah um but i don't know we'll see that's up to them i guess <laughs> to, that's up to them i guess to disclose <laughs> <laughs> yeah and speaking of disclosing things we're going to disclose some answers to questions that have been asked of us henceforth here mm. we go q a we got questions from twitter uh falcon said what was something you were hoping oh yeah we didn't Actually, this is a great question because I wanted to talk about this, but we didn't. What was something you were hoping, not necessarily expecting to see, but didn't? Also, two out of 10 direct, fight me. Also, what's your favorite new Kirby mode? Uh, Falcon's just mad that they didn't announce a new uh, F-Zero game. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, as far as, I don't know. I don't really go into directs and I almost never really did. Since, mm -hmm. the, since Pokemon came to Switch, I, yeah. I, I don't care anymore because all the mm -hmm. boxes that I want to be checked as like a thing that this is like an unrepresented thing in the mm -hmm. like in the market that I specifically want and I want it to be represented that died with Pokemon you know yeah. I have all the games that I want so from here it's like impress me <laughs> you know like <laughs> to whatever you got I'm open yep. to 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 hearing you out and if I like it I like it if I don't I don't um I mean it would have been the if I don't know, they have Arceus DLC planned, but I don't even mm -hmm. know if that's a thing, you know? Yeah. Um, and whether that would show up in a direct. Yeah, it wouldn't. Like an announcement something. for a Pokemon Day thing would have yeah. been neat. Um, but other than that, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Cause I just don't watch directs like that. And I pretty much never did, you know? Mm -hmm. Like even before Pokemon, I wasn't like, all right, this is the direct. I hope that they <laughs> announce the thing that I want, you know? It's like, yeah, Whatever happens happen. I mean, especially this direct of like beginning of the year and stuff. I'm more than ever just like let's let's see what's going on because mm -hmm. like I was thinking about this. Um, if we compare this to in 2018, we had the mini direct in January, which was like they announced Kirby there. Well, they announced that Kirby was coming, or they dated Kirby essentially. Mm -hmm. um, Dark Souls and Mario Tennis. Um, I don't know. It was just like this is so much of a step up and in general their direct game is just so much better that it's like man anything they show like it'll be fun and like you said all the boxes are kind of checked especially right now so many people have arceus to play or other things or whatever they're like it's just in it feels less toxic of a time at least temporarily than some other times have been um, granted i still saw a typical you know switch uh creator thing you know the strat yeah. of like yeah, I'm gonna say I hate this direct. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is the worst direct I've ever seen in yep. my life. You know, like, yep. So, with that said, things that I 
I wasn't expecting to see anything. I don't think, um, but things I was hoping to see, honestly, uh, Super Mario Party or Mario Party Superstars DLC or update would, I think that was one that I was like, well, that'd be cool. That'd be fun. Um, but that didn't show up. And I would expect that to be part of the expansion pack. And I think even if that is a thing that exists and will come, I think they needed Mario Kart to be the next thing with the expansion pack, no matter what. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I, I couldn't see them opening a direct with that just because of something. I just couldn't see that happening. So it, like the way they did this totally made sense. Um, so I still hope that later down the road, we'll get some Mario Party Superstars updates and things, whether in a direct or just like kind of randomly, that'd be cool. Um, yep. Otherwise though, like, yeah, um, there, there's plenty of things I could say I was hoping to see. Like, yeah, it would have been great to see a 3D Mario or more Breath of the Wild or Zelda something or whatever. Yeah. But like, see, I that, wasn't the, mad that I didn't see any of those. Yeah, that's the thing that throws me off though. Cause it's like, there's things that I would be open. To, like I would be super down for a new Mario game, but I don't yeah. go in the direct with right. any sort of like, man I really or like a star fox see. game or something like that yeah. like, like it would be cool like... it'd be cool but like i'm not going in being like i hope they announce this <laughs> having something that can inevitably be crushed for no other reason than yeah it, it just not happening now it wasn't something that they were mm -hmm. thinking about blah blah, blah. it's just i uh -huh. am here for video games if i mean it's like my like is cool nice <laughs> uh um so there were times earlier on in our marriage that um, Ashley would be like, we'd have no plans for an afternoon. And she'd be like, hey, we should do this thing this afternoon. And I'd be like, I can't, or something would throw a wrench in it to where we couldn't do that thing. Mm -hmm. And then she'd feel sad, mm -hmm. have a hard time. And I was like, but you were so fine with us doing nothing until <laughs> the idea came up. So it, it, it was like, what's going on? So it feels almost like that, where it's like, if it's sometimes just not thinking, not having ideas at all. Like it's not I, even about I, like low expectations. Like we've talked about, it's just about being like, th that's what out. I'm saying though. Right. Yeah. yeah. Cause like that anecdote specifically is like, like that's just how I am in general with <laughs> life. Like yeah. there, it is very rare for me to like plan out anything in my life in that way where it's like, mm -hmm. I want to do this and I want to do that. And I want, it's like, all right, today is a day that either I have something lined up and that's what I'm going to do, or I don't. And if something comes to me, I'm down, <laughs> you know, like I'm down for yeah. whatever, if it's cool, it's cool. And I'm going to do it. If it's something that came up beforehand and it's like, oh, this is a possibility. I'm down for that too. But I'm not going to sit here and like do a whole bunch of what ifs that yeah. it, like there's no real grounding there just so I can potentially get <laughs> mad about the thing not happening, you know? Yeah. So that's, but what if, what if you get hate clicks out of it? Like Alex said, you know, I don't like hate clicks. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't <laughs> because yeah, like the, the long lasting uh, like effects of that is just people expecting you to hate on stuff, you yeah. know? Cause like whenever you want to be positive about something, because they came to you because you hated on a different thing. They're like, Oh, you're mm -hmm. just, you're a sellout now. I can't yeah. believe I came to you for being real, <laughs> but now you're over here liking stuff. Uh -huh. Crazy <laughs> man. <laughs> nobody can like stuff that's fake <laughs> um but yeah the second part of the or last part of this also what's your favorite new kirby mode uh i mean the car one the car one's really cool i, I like the car one i like the balloon one too the balloon's also cool the balloon one is the that big water balloon kirby oh yeah yeah that one is cool i think my favorite the one i was most excited when i saw it was the um like gliding one mm. and i don't know that i'm gonna love those sections but just i think the versatility of just doing that as opposed to all the other things just makes it feel like man there's so many things you can do mm. so that was the one that like, most got me excited in the moment but alex said light bulb i think that also looked so, yeah cool. light bulb looks cool too and the the little ring all all of them were like i'm excited about mm. it it's it's I'm yeah sorry. very mario odyssey in that regard um of like captures and stuff and which but it's already not is, it's just kirby <laughs> so like, i saw people no, no, talking right, about yes. that in the, in the twitch chat where it's like uh cappy greater sign greater sign greater sign and I'm like <laughs> happy copied kirby <laughs> in that in that sense like uh -huh. kirby's been copying since day one <laughs> i'm like it's that's true. great but but yeah there you have it um jumpo asks thoughts on mario kart dlc being part of the online expansion personally i think it's a very smart move for nintendo and also i'll get it for free uh, because of it so that's cool 
I'm super down for that because again, yeah. it's like, especially with DLC, I don't know. There's still people that are like, I want to own this. And I'm mm-hmm. like, you know, I mean, it's downloadable content. <laughs> you yeah. don't own it anyway. <laughs> um, but but for me, the way I play video games, I'm not probably going to play this in a year. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, and yeah. like the chances of me like A, uh, wanting to play this next year and B, for whatever reason, not wanting to have the, uh expansion anymore are very low like both of those things checking uh, like bm boxes that are checked super low yep i mean also i'm not going to want to play it anymore you have a family plan (laughs) i have a family plan like there's i have the responsibility of seven other people (laughs) that's true (laughs) and and literally (laughs) i'm not gonna cancel that i was stream. i was streaming it and i was streaming with dan i was streaming with colton Mm -hmm. I was streaming with who else was on Mega Man. I was streaming Mega with Mega Man. Man. Mm-hmm. And I was like, three of the four people that are in this call right now <laughs> have it for free on my dime. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's like that in and of itself, just like it's such a better value. Like literally mm-hmm. just that. Like if all of us combined, like if it wasn't just me, if I wasn't gonna yeah. just buy this anyway and I didn't care, you know, because I know there's a lot of people that use this either like to make it cheaper on them or to, I mean, in a scummy way, make money off of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, right. <laughs> off of the, like splitting the subscription or whatever, right? Um, for like even removed from that, it's like those four people getting access to the subscription, me, Mega Man, Colton, you know, mm-hmm. like, and um, like just that is a hundred bucks. If all of us had to buy the $25 yeah. thing, and we don't get the N64 games. We don't get the Genesis mm-hmm. games. We don't get the uh, Mario Kart DLC. We don't get the Animal Crossing DLC. Mm-hmm. Like, the, there's no universe where that's not a good value. And plus, on top of all the other Switch Online stuff mm-hmm. that is already inherently in that subscription. Yeah. It's like, but I mean, I think, yeah, there's, as I'm not a collector. So, like, I don't same. generally have this feeling of like, I have it now and I'll have it forever and stuff. And like, even with physical objects, that doesn't always work out a hundred percent. I mean, you know, if you, the physical objects are, are also finite inherently right. because they <laughs> yeah. are physical, they can break, they can be stolen, they can be lost, you yeah. know? But I think um, like with that, I have a pretty like, I don't know, it, more experience based idea of this kind of stuff where mm-hmm. like i'm gonna use it for as long as i want to have the experience of it and then like right. i you know, there's some games where it's like i don't want to ever start and finish that game like i loved playing divinity original sin 2 and it's this big old thing and one day maybe i could go back and play it again and play it differently because you can do that and i could have a more or less different experience with the same thing but i kind of like that being contextualized in just that experience that i had mm-hmm. um so i think something like this like with mario kart will last longer than that but i also expect to have the means to achieve that for longer anyway mm-hmm. um and I, if I really want to, and I'm like, no, I'm not going to get the expansion pack in 2027 while I still have, you know, something, 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 I can just buy the DLC then. Yep. And then it's like, I don't know, that's, that's future $25 that I don't have to think about. Like it's this dollars and those dollars. It's like, yeah. no, I will have $25 when the time, when the time comes to yeah. need those $25. And, 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 and the thing is like, I got to so have the experience because of the gaming thing. Something I mentioned earlier is like, this is inherently an expensive hobby. If yeah. I'm pinching pennies to the point where I, $25 is a huge consideration to me. I probably mm-hmm. shouldn't be playing video games at that point, <laughs> you know? And not in the yeah. sense of like, I should probably go get a job or not that type uh-huh. of stupid crap, but like, I probably got more bigger problems than wanting to play a video game. Mm-hmm. If $20 is, $25 is that big of a deal. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. That's just me though. <laughs> yep. What a time. All right. Discord questions. Here we go. Merck asked, what was your most, well, it's about time we got blank for the direct. For me, it was Portal. Also, uh, when did you take a quick little nap? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I guess Wii Sports or Nintendo Switch Sports. Yeah. Because or Mario Kart DLC. <laughs> that too. Yeah, the yeah. Mario Kart DLC. Um, But the Mario Kart DLC was like, 
that was just like a, whenever they decided to do it, however they decided to do it sort of situation. Mm-hmm. It's like they could have really, they could have went either way. And because there are definitely people that want Mario Kart 9, right? So they could have mm-hmm. sold that. <laughs> but yeah. if they came to the conclusion, it's like, nah, we think we could make more money out of the people that currently have it. And we think that mm-hmm. we can expand the life of this game by people that will buy it later um, with the DLC. Um, so like, it was less mm-hmm. of a thing that's like, ah, they, they definitely need to do this. So like, finally they did the thing that they obviously needed to do you know and more of a like oh okay that's the conclusion that they came to yeah um but kirby is like a thing that like i have been saying for forever like kirby's boring now kirby on the switch is uh, star allies and even the other stuff that is on the switch is lazy and uninteresting and now it is not (laughs) and that is good indeed yeah yeah i think it's hard to say i think port I would agree in some regards, the portal was the most like, you know, finally kind of a thing because mm-hmm. a lot of these other ones weren't things that I took for granted, I guess is what it is. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, cool. Okay, nice. Or earthbound. Maybe earthbound is the yeah, top earthbound. one there. Yeah. I'll say that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, like up there for sure would be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe stuff. And yeah, um, Nintendo Switch sports. But things like Fire Emblem Warriors, um, mario strikers and all that like i i wouldn't have just like expected those yeah like i'm like that, oh those, it makes those, sense. i could yeah. see why you did that but those are things it that it's like i'd want this and like i could find an argument for why i mean like how it could succeed but yeah for mario strikers <laughs> right. uh, but it's not one of those things that's like it's not a given. better do this <laughs> <laughs> they don't do this they hate money you know right um, um and when did you take a quick little nap uh triangle strategy um that section that i mean i was interested a little bit in that but also it was fairly short i feel like the this sizzle reel didn't didn't do anything for me compared to some other sizzle reels in the past where there's been at least a couple of things i'm like oh that's nice yeah like a lot of other sizzle reels it's like why didn't they talk about this game longer and there's not really a game in there that they did yeah right um but i will say the the, only one that looked any good from that for me would be maybe gets a fumadin and which is out now and we just have seen other things on that so like yeah the only thing that caught my attention even a little bit in the scissor row was the fact that i thought demon slayer came out already so that's <laughs> indicative that the scissor row exactly. did not matter <laughs> the one. yep um also mlb the show <laughs> is when i fell asleep true yeah so but there you go um Mega Man asked a question but we already answered it how do you not make your wallet hurt as much after direct mm-hmm. um d- various ways there's multiple strategies i'd say there's like three of them um they all kind of work together it's a it's a it kind of like this many it's like a triangle strategy oh my god i hate it i hate that yeah (laughs) please don't (laughs) (laughs) um true for any ass do you think nintendo is going to keep nso into the next gen or will it be a switch exclusive thing much like virtual console kind of is slash was i personally hope that this is their game pass and is a never-ending live service Um, I think that they'll maintain it because uh, if you look at other gaming companies' revenue streams and the trajectory of those, they exponentially increased with services. Um, And they maintain those services, and that increase continued to snowball. Nintendo is starting to see that with Mm -hmm. NSO. It's their first, like, foray into having a dedicated service. So, like, them losing that, not only will that like affect their bottom line in the direct mm-hmm. sense of like we're going to make less money because people aren't on this service but also their you know investors will be like what <laughs> like you're getting rid of this dedicated revenue stream mm-hmm. that increases exponentially every year honestly i feel like <laughs> i mean they're they're seeing it now with all that stuff I wouldn't be surprised if they saw it as early as just barely into the wii u when mm-hmm. they were like Oh, well, this was a mistake. Like yeah. we refreshed the virtual console. People aren't showing up for the Wii U like they did for the Wii. People mm-hmm. aren't buying these games. And we just basically lost a revenue stream yep. for all intents and purposes. So I feel like even then they were like, we got to figure something out. And so that's why, you know, cause it, it, they announced that it was happening. The NSO was happening right when the switch launched and then it just took a while to actually show up. Um, actually, yeah, I don't know, something like, yes, because they mentioned it would be paid eventually and come with games, blah, 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 mm-hmm. all that stuff. Um, and I also think that they, like, in part, probably thought the way that 
uh, gamers think mm -hmm. in terms of like Pokemon, right? Where it's like, oh, people are going to buy both games. Nintendo likely thought that it's like, mm -hmm. oh, well, okay, well, people had to buy these games again. So like, mm -hmm. we're going to have revenue because people are going to buy those games again. Mm -hmm. But in reality, every additional game that you have to buy again is a knock on whether I am going to buy this platform. Yes. You know, like when yeah. people go to buy a PlayStation 6 or a Xbox, whatever the heck, mm -hmm. their, their decision is going to be weighed by the fact that it's like, well, I already had three prior generations. So I already mm -hmm. have these games and these achievements and these things built up from my mm -hmm. years of loyalty to this mm -hmm. platform. Um, so therefore my decision is made already because I'm already invested anyway. Yeah. Um, Nintendo now can have that. And I think that that's valuable to them. And they so will. here's a thought that going off of exactly that is that like in the, in the past, the platform was the platform and then the games are the games that you get off of that. I think as we go further into the future, it's like you get a switch and that's a platform you play games on it but eventually your library becomes the platform and yes. then the hardware is just the hardware that you're playing on it and yes. so like getting a new switch as long as everything carries across then it's it's like the soft it's the hardware update to your software platform library whatever mm -hmm. um so basically it's like you know it's the whole it's the Wii thing that we mentioned earlier of people are buying the console to play the game at this point you're buying a better console to play all of the games that you already right. have and, and that so... launch of course right because yeah, like yeah. eventually they'll build on that and they'll give you more games that exactly. you want to buy the platform it's just another yep. it's death by a thousand cuts because it's yep. very rare like like because of wii sports people have in their head that it's like the killer app Killer app is a myth, unless you're Wii Sports. <laughs> right. um, the killer app these days is a death by a thousand cuts sort of situation. It's like, I could play Smash Brothers on this. I could play Mario Kart on this. I could play Pokemon Snap on this. I could play, you know, like mm -hmm. infinite amount of games because people rarely buy entire platforms for one game. You know, yeah. even if all, even if you're me, right? And most of what you play is one game. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, I, obviously I play the new games and I do that sort of thing. Yeah. But like, I would buy a Switch just to play Smash. I know people that bought Wii use just to play Smash. Yeah. Um, but you're not going to build a successful platform off of a killer app, quote mm -hmm. unquote. I mean, to go for the original question, even to the um, a recent Nintendo metric thing in their subscription, uh, Nintendo slide that they provided for their financial briefing was mm -hmm. that whole like the switch and this growing value of services and the future and like the next gen like basically they've confirmed without fully saying it that that's what they're going to do is that the the service of you know nintendo switch online and their services going, and right? stuff are going to just continue yeah um which is great and i'm glad about that because otherwise Dang. that would i mean that would look on, that's what's influencing so much of my view of the online stuff, to be honest, mm -hmm. is like, if that weren't the case and I was seeing this as it's only going to last as long as the switch lasts, the value proposition, it goes down, does by change yeah. like by a bit. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's something that, uh, they, if they don't do, that's a mistake. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. And lastly, uh, this, this one, uh, Alec, Alec is basing. Baking. Baking. <laughs> I mean, he probably does that sometimes too. <laughs> Say Chrono Cross. <laughs> uh, you're scared of Chrono Cross? What's going on? No. Uh, oh, there's supposed to be a question. Uh, best food for leftovers. Hashtag fanatics foods. Hey, bring it back. <laughs> there's easy answers to this. I mean, there's pizza, not just one. There's pizza. Pizza's nope, pretty wrong. good for leftovers. That's, dude, that's <laughs> crazy. No, pizza is fine for leftovers, but it it only lasts in the fridge unless our fridge settings are just like it dries out over a couple of days or whatever. So like it gets progressively worse. Mm. I wasn't even quickly. thinking like leftover for that long. I, okay. So this is a thing that is okay. like a yeah, person, a person thing. Definitely. Uh -huh. Like this is a similar pair situation <laughs> <laughs> um, where it's like, it depends on how long leftovers have value to you in the first place. Yes. It's like, totally I'm only keep my leftovers for but so long, you know, yeah. like, I'm like, I'm not trying to eat. How long is so long? And like 
like two like days two, three days max okay. dude like three days right. is maximum for me um but also like pasta is good like spaghetti and like like that type of stuff is good for leftovers so here's what i would say with even spaghetti and mm. pizza is oftentimes you have to work a little bit hard to get it to be the same quality that it was when it was first a thing like not too hard well, but putting it least... on the stove or in the oven for a little bit it's not that hard it's, it's so but like even then it's not quite the same quality as it was when you first got it. However, I think there are some foods that are at least the same, if not better as like, those are, those are great leftover foods for like just in eating in general. But there are some foods that I would literally consider making it, putting it in the fridge, in fridge, eating it the next day instead. Okay, I need chili, to for example. I don't like chili in the first okay, place. Okay. Well so then that it, makes yeah. sense. Chili and lasagna are the two that I would say are lasagna like. Lasagna is pasta, dude. It is, but it's it's different. Like the way that the sauce does things, blah, blah, blah. So I think both of those things, um, especially chili, like the flavors of the things, like specifically the beans, when you're making it, don't necessarily like soften up the right way and like get all the flavors of the chili in the beans. Like the beans kind of just taste like beans sometimes when you eat chili. Um, but if you refrigerate it and then take it back out and then heat it back up and then eat it, it is better the second day always that is my opinion of that so like a lot of things within the like kind of soupy stewy sort of variety can tend to lens towards that where like flens are flens flavors are meant to blend together i i feel that way but also like i'm a dad and i like leftovers so like <laughs> man you haven't been a dad for that long <laughs> oh but i've been a dad at heart for a long long time that's true that's true that's true, that's true. Uh, yeah that's but no true. i I do. I do. It's funny. Cause I remember as a kid, I did not like leftovers and I thought they were, the concept of them was gross. And in my mind, they were all just gray and bland. Like that was, <laughs> and then I was like, why does my dad like leftovers so much? But it's like, it's, it's depending on the leftovers. It's like a top quality meal with zero effort and zero money. And that is very appealing. <laughs> so I'm down. Yeah. I mean, I'm down, but I'm only down. It's finite for how yeah. long I'm down. You know, I'm, I'm down less long than I was like in college or something, because I've, I've had some foods where I was like, I could eat this as leftovers. And I've looked at it and I was like, I should not eat this as leftovers <laughs> and then thrown it away. So I've learned from that to be a little bit more stingy about how long something will last. This is another thing that we literally talked about on, on a stream yesterday, I think like you literally yesterday. <laughs> Um, with leftovers not what was the best leftovers but uh -huh. like how long leftovers are relevant <laughs> so yeah. like... depends on the thing for sure but like i rule of thumb probably like a week would be my cutoff more often than not um but yeah it just depends on the thing like if it's mostly carbs of some variety then like it can last longer than that if it's other kinds of like sushi leftovers even if it's like not raw fish sushi and has other stuff in there that doesn't have that kind of like mm -hmm. specific shelf life restriction right um a, a day otherwise yeah, it's, it's like, like it's it, not great the man. rice gets all yeah. crunchy or gross and stuff so yeah yep foods man it's true um like comment subscribe do all this stuff yeah. that I, I actually told you to do at the beginning of the show <laughs> like we you usually do um tell your friends about the podcast uh i don't know if we have a sign off question you got a sign off question um, what do you, I mean, same question we just answered. What is, what do you guys think is the best leftover foods? Let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. Thanks for listening and or watching. Goodbye. Bye.